This could not be done without Discord or the internet. So let us thank our sponsor, Discord. Roll20. And Audible.com. We don't have a sponsor with Audible. Shut up. We will. We sponsor everything. Okay, say something, but say something, bundle. Uh, uh, let me think. Okay, um, yeah, no, you turning the mic up on your end fixed it on my end. My favorite, my favorite book of late has been Morning Wood. Everyone loves Big Chest. It is a fun tale about a mimic that starts out small but ends up being gr a great destroyer of all things human. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> All right, that, that tears it. Ryan is in charge of the Rule 34. <laughs> Ryan is now what? <laughs> well, what? What? Fell, fell, if you don't know, then don't worry about it. I'm in charge of it? I'm That's pretty sure. You're not, you're not in charge. Thanks. I don't know that was a thing. I saw. Oh, I thought you were dooming us all. What the hell, man? Yeah, I I thought I thought you like Radia's gonna start requesting so much Rule Thirty Four of our characters. I was like, yeah. bundle, no. I said like, bundle, he's what not. The fuck? Wow. I said he's not <laughs> not in charge. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why would we even need Rule Thirty Four of our characters to begin with? That it's, not that there, it's not that there would have been, it's that you know how the internet works. Eventually mm -hmm. there will be. We have an audience. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 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 Oh, Pod is always there for you. Always oh, there for us. Hi, Pod. What's up, Pod? Hello, Pod. I can't see what he's saying because I still need to get the stream open. Apparently, I. Uh, uh, yes, I, I hear was, everything. Uh, given, uh -huh. I was given the power of Rule 34 and had it taken away in the same instance. More like you were banned from the beginning. Uh, so. <laughs> so, last season on The Dynamics of Good yeah. and Evil. A party was formed to form to follow up on the rights of a contessa. They got lost in the woods, they came back to find a castle disappeared. They went on a journey to hunt down some slavers. They came back with a couple new friends. They went to college. They left college. They eventually <laughs> ventured all the way to cure themselves of numerous ills and vices and finally made their way to the Undersider Pass. They went into the Undersider Pass. They ran out of the Undersider Pass. They got healed from the Undersider Pass. They ventured back into the Undersider Pass. They met a Drider. They shot at the Drider. They pissed off the Drider. They lost their money to the Drider. <laughs> then they met the Spawn. But they kicked its ass. So then, <laughs> they dealt with the Drow of the Underdark. They beat up a zombie holder. And now they finally emerge on the other side of the river, on the other side of the Undersider, about to venture into the Veiled Keep. Welcome back to the Dynamics Woo! of Good and Evil. Season Yay. 2! Yeah! Wait, we're in Season 2 already? I thought Season 2 was in Redport. No, no, we finally got the red uh, to the red keep. So, uh, no, 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 to the veiled keep. So it's, uh, you know, so I think it's season, uh, it's part one of season two now. Okay, so uh, season three will be in Redport then. Oh. I don't think the veiled keep will take an entire season, given how long season one took. Yeah, they are really weird. They can do shit with time. Anyway, only, only one way to find out. So anyway, last time, uh, Hygric and Belxis were about to take their leave from you, but a couple of you wanted to have interactions before they ran off. Yeah, Dashigan just wanted to say thanks and give them well. 
couple issues. Uh, actually, you uh, did have something I wanted to say to him, but uh, you, you go ahead first. <sighs> thank you for th thank you for paying our guides. Hmm. Hygric nods enthusiastically. Uh, Belts just starts to give you the finger, then mo Morrison's it with a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, da Dashing Yin gives a little grin of that and returns the thumbs up. I like to think that she uh, she just kind of like tilts her hand to the side and like gives the thumbs up and the finger at the same time. Goodness. That means something <laughs> completely different. But what does it mean? Gonna, we're not going to go there. I want to know what it means, though. I'll tell you after the session. Do you learn it when you're old, Dash. Anyway, and Belks is definitely trying not to let those stupid royals give you shit. Kind of snorts and like, hmm. You know, I have to catch me first. To... What were you saying, Bundle? No, Bundle was just going to interject. You know, we're here to kind of save a stupid royal, right? That doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> I've had bad experiences with royals. I don't like them. And I'm not talking nobles, I mean the actual fucking dukes, kings, whatever. Sounds like a personal problem to me. <clears throat> I'll, I'll tell the story at another date. Fair enough. Did anyone else? I think oh. Fell wanted to have an interaction as well. Yeah. With uh, Belxis. <laughs> okay. Uh, she goes up to Belxis. Correct. Hold up, give, give me a sec. I gotta pull up the freaking neutral, uh, neutral, <laughs> true neutral thing. I forgot to have that. You're just Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I know, and I haven't watched that in for fucking ever. <laughs> yeah, you, you're basically just extremely chill. You do whatever you think is a good idea. Okay, okay, thank you. And you're really chill about it. Fella so goes up to Belxis. So, you said that you had about a certain tiefling? Hmm. Red. Black, red, black hair, uh, uh, black hair goes by any holla. Uh, she is going to roll. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if she does. Give me a sec. Aha! There's Yoshi. her dice. Aha! Ooh. So she nods her head and. Uh, Actually, wonder. Actually, uh, says, "You remember Lapland? We went to." I do. Do you know what's north of Lapland? Doom. Yeah. For. Oh, that idiot! What is she doing? <laughs> so the same place I need to eventually go. That's where I saw someone fitting your description. Other than that, um, I might have seen a devilish tale or two in Redport, but I wasn't really paying attention. I was too busy dodging guards. Were you able to get a clear look at her face? I remember earrings. Loud, jangly earrings. Yep, yeah, that's her. And, uh... Light purse. Light purse on her. Wasn't worth stealing. <laughs> she smiles. Seriously, thing. Is she lo she looks to Hi Greg. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks uh, thanks for guiding us as well, Hi Greg. Couldn't have defeated that zombie holda uh, without you. Mm. Enthusiastic double thumbs up, just like shaking him in place. Mm -hmm. She gives a thumbs up back, but only one because she she's kind of using the other hand for uh, the other arm for the crutch. <laughs> Does she still need that crutch, by the way? 
Possibly. How's your leg? I don't know. Do I? How's your leg holding up, Eliana? What do I roll? Con check. Here we go. Check or uh, check, check or uh, save. Save. Okay, check. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah, you're um you're doing better. Most of you're just keeping it on for you're just keeping it for a safety, but you you don't really depend on it as much over the past uh, couple of hours at least. Is my speed back to 30, or is it still at 25? Your speed is still at 25. Okay, thank you. Just just need to clear that up. <laughs> uh, it's doing better. I'm just, I'm just keeping a cr uh, the crutch as a safety thing. A uh, uh, safety thing, because, uh, uh... Well, you never know. I'm not exactly dependent on it, but... You know. Fair enough. Just, um, be, be careful. Oh, please. My middle of it. Where's the camera? Nobody knows where it is. Mm. Okay. Uh, da -da. I'll go last for initiative. Okay. So can I roll on that? See if I can... Uh, sure, Arcana. Okay. Um... Rania takes out uh, some more aloe, and he kind of scratches his chin a little, like, hmm. Oh god, there's <laughs> dead skin just piling <laughs> off everywhere. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, when you scratch your chin, some of the dead skin just flew into it, and you just... Oh, that's a 12. You made, like, uh, another half serving, but there was some flakes in it. It's flakes, god damn it. Okay, um, I suppose I can't roll Flaky! Um, well, uh, he tried to cover that up real quick and, like, try to mix it together inside of a vial. <laughs> um, don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Um, uh, Rania uh, goes to Belkis and hands her another uh, uh, vial of the aloe. <sighs> Thank you for your tolerance with me through this adventure. She snatches it out much. of your hand. <laughs> I know this is much, but hopefully it'll help. Damn, time. actually, yeah, you you lift it up and your hand is empty. Like, huh? Uh, what? Huh? Do I see her? Do, do I see her have it? Yeah, you see it's in her hand. I'm like, hmm. Okay. Otherwise, Ron, you would be like, what? What? Where'd it go? She, she it? basically <laughs> stole it out of your hand without you realizing. <laughs> All right. Well, I was giving it to her anyway. Uh, hopefully, it'll help out. Uh, hey, if I see you, attempt to uh, make you some more. Also, I uh, appreciate the uh, information you gave me, and uh, but, I'm, uh, but I do not think I will be acting on it quite yet. Instead, I would ask that if you hear anything more about the coyote. Next time we meet, I would be more than happy to pay for any additional information. Hmm. Like I, like I said, head south. Hmm, south is a good plan. But yeah, if you come across any uh, information about either uh, the coyote or my people, uh, while you're wandering around to see each other again. Uh, there will be payment and uh, more of the aloe uh, in it for you. And for you, Hygric, how are you, how are you feeling that uh, we uh, we annihilated the big baddie that uh, gave you so much trouble before? Looks to Belxis. Looks to the rest of them. Um... Mm -hmm. Shrugs, kind of positively, optimistically. Why are you tilt his head? You seem a bit shaken up about the thing. I'm surprised you're not like a little more, well, excited that you were able to avenge your comrades and even yourself. Was not not the thing that you faced? Belks tilts her head in. You still made it explode worms all over all of us. That's true, but it's dead now. And like, all the worms are dead. And uh, uh, we're okay. All the dead, all the for now. Dead. It's now gone. 
No, uh, I kind of figured that, uh, I kind of figured that it would be more impactful to him. He seemed rather concerned, uh, at his existence before. But, yeah. Sure. Uh, well, I'm glad to have met you all. And now, um, Rania looks over to the veil keep. Now we have some even. Oh no, more... you guys don't see it. You guys are still enshrouded in that dense gray black fog. Do we know a general direction? Uh, survival checks. Well, do. Yeah, da Plus... gonna look okay. at that too. Uh, but... quick question. Uh, can I use my jewel? craft to find out uh, which direction it's north. If you can find some moss. Can I see huh. any moss? Uh, not immediately around you, no. Can I make some moss? Uh, you would need 22. to know... Uh, uh. I suppose it doesn't matter, because uh, Dash got a 22, there's a 17, second uh, 16, so... I'm yeah. pretty sure we'll find our way. Yeah, so basically, Dash, you can tell immediately that Belxis and Hygric are exiting to the east. You realize you have to head 90 degrees to the north of them. So, yeah, you gotta head 90 degrees away from them to the left. That's where you're heading. Yeah, yeah Dash, Dash will relay that to the party. Mm. Uh, Looks like you're And Spell is, has uh, her precedentation ready in case she needs to you know, blow away some of the fog. Manya holds up his hand with uh, his druid craft to make more puffs of wind. Uh, yeah, basically, whenever you cast that, you make approximately 45 to 60 feet of clear air at a time. Cool. And with our powers combined... With our powers combined, we have the air elemental. It's dead now. <laughs> Father of the hurricane. It sounds like it keeps. Uh, yeah, I thought that was coming from me for a second. No, that. That's Alex. There's wind in your mic. How about now? Okay, now you get. Yeah, uh, you this is definitely yeah, not yeah. that. Right, while you oh, guys are doing interactions, I need to get some tissue. Here, back. Okay. All right. Cool. So yeah, Dash points the way. Tally, did you have anything before I did anything? Tally looks towards uh, Elxis and says these simple words. If I ever see you on the bounty paper, I'm coming after you, no matter uh, what. Oh, God. And, and Fel just smiles, and as they walk away, she, she kind of waves like, see you, uh, see you a lot again if we ever meet again. If we do, I'll stop Talik. Belx is just cracks the, cracks against like sociable one, isn't he? Uh, he has a bit of a. No, no, you're you're right, Talik. Uh, out of character, uh, that, uh, unfortunately, that is how palates, uh, uh, paladins go. They're oh no, you're right. We're just dicks. acting uh, acting our uh, acting our way. Sorry, dude. But thank you for the guide, though. Just don't let me see you on any wanted posters. They'll have to get a good look at me first. Slowly inches back Homer Simpson style into the fog. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Damn it. I and then we have Hygric. <laughs> Who's just there. He just looks there like, huh, where'd you go? <laughs> Bundle has something to say. It wouldn't be hard to know the scar. Hmm. Oh no. Can't hear you. Why do you look around at the ground for a rock? <laughs> Alright, so Bundle? If she was trying to hide, Bundle just was going to stay. Well, I guess if she's not going to show up for a payment, I guess we can go ahead and leave. As he pretends to leave. I thought we gave her the payment. Her head sticks out of the... of the... Ah. of the fog, like... Oh, you want to add more to the stuff I've already taken from you? Interesting. Okay, I'll uh, bite. I see. She's gonna insight you. Okay. That is. Do 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 do. 
That is an 18 oh, plus... That's a 21 insight on you. She reads you like a book. Mm. What would I have to roll against that? Deception? Uh, deception if you're trying to hide something from her. Well, it was just to get her to come back out. And he got me on it. So. <laughs> he, he does want to ask him to be... Okay, did anyone, else, did anyone else hear him? Um, he, nope, his mic's lagging out. Type it, type, type, type it, type, type. He wants to pass some info on. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, sure. Okay. He, he wants to say if she runs into any more of the of his clan, the ancient oasis, which you can pretty much find as being panther people. <laughs> if he finds any more of them, uh, if if she finds any more of them, just tell them that little brother is fine. He's still searching for little sister. Whatever that means. Well. He, he tells her that in Thieves Camp. Because he's specifically looking for her, and she knows that with the way Belksis is in her line of work, she might run into her, run into her faster than anyone else that he would probably. She gives you the double blink, which Thieves Camp for her understood. Alright. Mm -hmm. Then he goes over to Hygric and says, and you, you were awesome. Oh? Huh? You were awesome. Roll a charisma. Do it, 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 do it. When you fail at a game, uh, when you when you fail a roll, screw it. Roll me charisma. He still has some deal of old meat. Did we so lose him? Still here. Yeah, I was about to say, Bundle, are you still here? I don't Bundle, know if you're... Yeah, he's back. Uh, oh, Christ. Bundle, if you're still here... We need to, uh... Give us a sign! We may need to get a Ouija board out. I think his McDonald's Wi-Fi took a crap. I think we need to get a Waluigi board. Mm. Does, does anyone have a Waluigi board? I was looking at it when and I was at Feliana has disadvantage for the rest of the session. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> you know for a fact that would kill her, Brad. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm already dead! With the rolls she gets, that would just straight up murder her. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So twenty. Oh, thank you. That was first was, roll. It's twenty. I was about to say that first roll better fucking count because I know I rolled it. <laughs> yeah, I it, it, it just didn't load until like ten seconds ago. So <laughs> hit that table. Hit that table harder. Anywho. Okay, so Hygric blushes. Hygric blushes a little bit. Like, oh, you know, he he. We now have a new ship. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And I say, if it weren't for the fact that Belt just wants to get going, I would love to have you come with us, but I know you probably still have things that you have to do, right? He's like anxiously looking side to side, like, mm -hmm, yeah, 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 mm -hmm, yeah, did, uh. did, did, is he second. actually talking? Did he just speak? Yes. Yay! He can speak now! I thought you were mute. Mm -mm. Oh. Mm -mm. I have a further question. Why is he going with Belsis? They're friends. But, uh, but are they a package deal? Or... That's a good question. Are you guys a package deal? He kind of cocks his head outside like, whoa. <laughs> As in, do you go where Belksis goes, and she goes where you goes? Hmm. Looks up, okay. 
uh, he then looks at Belxis. Uh, I know you're not on hire anymore, but would you want to come with us? Nah, I don't want to deal. I don't want to deal with the Fey. I love that change in voice. Anya <laughs> looks over to Belxis. What do you know of the Fey, by the way? Grins, continues talking to Bundle. <laughs> Bell says, well, uh, well, either way, you have a beautiful voice, Hygric. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at any rate, I do appreciate everything you guys have done for us. I wish we could carry on together more, but we have our, our duty. Um, perhaps we'll see you in Redport? Oi! Awesome. I guess I so. Provided well, your perfect. paladin friend has joined the police. Well, I'm part of the law. Well, I'm already a member of the law. Just don't do nothing that will make me go after you. <laughs> Too late. Not great. Well, at any rate, you'll probably run into one of my sisters back in the Redport again. Just, Wonder. Uh, Oh, I was just gonna say, just keep your heads, keep your keep your face off of wanted posters. Not that I would go hunting for you, but I'd hate to see a friend get in trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd say I'm probably on our bound to not go out to not go after you, even if I wanted to. So don't gotta worry about that for me. hygrick has got a big old grin and two thumbs up. Hmm. Well, I think we're pretty much good, and I think uh, we are ready to move on. Best of, best of luck to you both. I have named Hang on. Named all of Where's that extra payment you offered me? Oh, I'm I'm sorry. Did did I say anything about payment? <laughs> <laughs> you want to make enemies? This is a good way to make enemies. Not with a high enough charisma roll. Okay, you're right. I do owe you something. He gives her a hug. Aww. Uh, she be laughing on you. I just closed her sheet too, son of a gun. <laughs> Is she about to roll the hit? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Roll a strength. Roll a strength. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Check or save. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, they match. Yay! She is trying so hard to squirm. I'm like, mm, no, no. <laughs> and uh, Ryan makes baggy charge over to them and he gives uh, her a hug too. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on, damn it. I'm also going to do this. I'm going to slip slip two gold into her pocket. If you rolled a nat one, you would have. Nobody would go there. Uh, oh hey. boy, if you had rolled a nat one, that would not have ended well. <laughs> that would have been pretty funny. Okay, yeah, she doesn't that. notice. <laughs> okay. She's like, oh, fuck, get off, get off. <laughs> And you know, for someone so scaly, you're actually pretty pleasant to hug. Mm, yes, she is. Try not to get weird, Bundle. I'm. You feel done. something poke inside your ear as her tongue just flies out of her mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's unsettling. Wait, did Dragon Fort do that? <laughs> Looks to Dash. <laughs> this is Dash, the player, asking. <laughs> no, but she like launches her tongue out like an like a dart and like just pokes his ear and pulls it back out, like as in don't so. push it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He lets her go, and he and he, sm he smiles and says, "Okay, I'm done." <laughs> Ronnie's currently, Ron currently hugging Belkis's leg. <laughs> no, I'm. <laughs> he hasn't straight up smacked either of you yet. 
And then he gets off and goes on to Baggy again. Alright. But if we're good to go, guys, I guess we should go ahead and see if, what, if we can make our way towards the Bell Keep and give the Fae a good old, I don't know, hi? I was going to say stern talking to you, but I imagine that would piss them off. Okay, <laughs> we're, just going to have, we're just going to have a, a, a friendly interaction. Possibly Parlay. Trade. Parlay, yes. Yeah, that. Parlay and he reaches part. into his pack and puts on his uh, owl mask again. Yeah, let's go say hello to the bay. Oh, don't look so downtrodden. I think we'll be fine. Either way, I don't want them to Ten natural face. ones later. <laughs> there are I'm multiple dead. reasons I'm why dead. Ranya has this mask on. <laughs> but I think we're good to move on, right? Zong is not them trying to steal the mic. That is literally my only personal concern from how I've heard, from what I've heard about the face so far. I'm Not hoping that they will make assumptions about me while I'm wearing this mask. And will leave me alone because of it. Like what? It's a freaking Mardi Gras? Runya looks over the bundle. What's a Mardi Gras? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. um, uh, do, do you want me to answer your question, bundle? No, it was making a quip. So, mm -hmm. not necessarily. Okay, fine. Okay, so... Just coming forward. Yeah, because the sooner we can get this over with, the sooner we can get back to civilization. Cool. Which, that right. sounds weird coming from me now that I think about it. No shit. Probably <laughs> hold <laughs> Baggy. <laughs> Why don't you move forward on top of Baggy? Yeah. Dash acknowledges that he came from something. That Wait a minute! Did you guys take a short? Did, guy, did you guys take a short rest inside after getting out of there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we did. yeah we did. I assumed this was at the end of the short rest. Same uh -huh. here. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. Shit! All my books are stacked up on my right underneath the mic. No. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm pretty yeah, sure Baggy is rest, now. Too. I'm pretty sure Baggy is now a beanbag. No, he's not. Uh, or rather, he, he's made all bean bag, but he didn't turn back because it's at, uh, it's not at the end of a long rest, it's at the end of a day. Oh, it's at the end so of a it, day? It's, yeah, a 24 uh, hour, it's a 24 hour thing, I'm assuming. Yeah, uh, not a 24 hour thing, it's until, like, um, uh, like, uh, not dusk, or like, until, like, Midnight, Creature vanishes at the next dawn. Okay. Yeah, yeah next dawn. So I kept hearing Baggy. I'm like, what? What does he keep saying, Baggy? For oh, Baggy, oh, yeah. Baggy, the giant what? badger. Yeah, the giant <laughs> badger. Uh, who? Uh, by the way, I named all of my creatures. Well, then you should be calling it <sighs> Albert, shouldn't you? No, 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 the giant badger. Regular badger is Albert. Okay, my bad. <laughs> And, uh, the panther is, uh, Bundle Jr. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because. Uh. So anyway, anyway Bel Belchus and Hygric, uh, give you a quick salute wave and then just exit into the fog and you just hear them slowly traipsing away through the, uh, through the vibrant jeweled grass until eventually after about, uh, a minute it just ceases moving. You just, uh, which reminds me, I gotta, I gotta play the music, damn it. Uh, I hope is smart enough not to try to steal the grass. I think we tried and failed, actually. We yeah, tried. I think we she did. She didn't. Sad music. Well, I think Bundle chipped his dagger. I did chip my dagger. I'm not. I'm not gonna try and steal any type of anything. Yeah, that. that dagger chip made Dashigan very concerned for his feet, considering he's barefoot. Yeah, yeah I tried. To, I tried to find very atmospheric, like uh, slow music, and this was the best I could find. So this, this, this seems nice. this seems pretty fitting. Mm -hmm. I'd say it is sort of like uh, the uh, the ant forest type of feeling. A mystic place, like somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Well, this. Black, black cauldron type. 
I've never seen that movie, oddly enough. I eh. really, uh, I, I kind of uh, regret not seeing it. I did see, uh, see uh, what was it? Um, Thumbelina and uh, uh, the princess and the goblin or something. That was a pretty good movie. Two. Shall we move forward? Yeah. Yes. That chicken will take point. What? I'll move. I'll move. Wait. Bella, you still right next to Dash? Yes. Question. Uh, yeah, since uh, Feliana is like still injured, um, uh, yeah, would uh, would Becky be able to hold her weight? Yeah. Cool. Uh, Ronnie gets off of Baggy and um, uh, has her get on to him. There you go. Uh, since you're still hobbling around, I imagine it'll help you heal if you stay off your foot for a bit. It's also okay. not a bad idea if we get into combat, Baggy can get her the fuck out. Mm-hmm. This is true. And she can still cast spells while on her back. This is true. Yeah, by, by and I get, get to ride a fuck, giant badger. By get you the fuck <laughs> out, I mean get you out of get you out of aggro distance. I'm loving the bag. The fake about with a ballista. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I don't think there's anything we can do <laughs> still right now. Nope. And I'm just like, yeah. huh? Counter charm can't work on this. No. <laughs> anyway. And I do not I'm going to seduce the ballista. Going... <laughs> As they're moving forward, the Dash is going to. Back. Da Dash is going to be actively keeping an eye out for anything. Just All right. looking around, looking for anything that might catch his attention or bring up concern. Alright, so no one outright failed that survival check. So, uh, basically you guys continue forward into the, the brush. Uh, that, that jeweled grass uh, is still everywhere. Like, it's that, it's that jewel pearlescent opaqueness that jewels have. But it's, it's still in the form of grass. It's sort of like... <laughs> It's sort of like if any of you saw the movie Annihilation, it's like the the plants that grow under the shape of people. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I really want to see that movie. I'm pissed off it's not on Netflix. Well, it's not an uh, not American Netflix yet. Yeah, I know. Every other Netflix has it. Uh, Liana, can you give me your Netflix password? No. no. Anyway. No. <laughs> Should I roll perception? Screw you. But I want to see the movie. No. Then go to the video store and rent it. I don't. I don't no! know if this town has a video rental. Then store go anymore. to Google. It's probably on sale for like four dollars. Then go to. Uh, then go to UTorrent. Be a pirate. <laughs> Yar. Uh, Yar. Dynamics Gunil do not endorse piracy. Please don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> well. Anyway. I endorse piracy, so you can get out. <laughs> get out. Should I roll perception? Uh, you, you can. Okay, because, yeah, Dash is actively looking for shit to make, to keep, to keep awareness of the surroundings and make sure if something stalking he does, he knows it. I'm just paranoid about the play. Here's the thing. Uh, you are, sec you know this is grassy and you think there should be trees around you. This place is dead quiet. Not a single bird, not, not no hummingbirds, no no bugs crawling. You can usually make I out. I wish I had speak the plan. It's just I didn't hear. Uh, no bird song, no bugs. It's deathly still. There's only like a slight, a slight cold wind blowing above you. That's the only thing you could really make out. Nothing about this feels good. Nothing. You guys, you guys hear that, right? Oh, you mean all that nothing? Says Bumble yes. as he as he yawns. Yes, that's that not. Is, that is not good. It's so, it's so, uh, um, so fragile that it can break the single word. I forgot it. It was supposed to be a fortune cookie. Hmm. <laughs> that way. That way. That way. That. That is real educational. I didn't even know I could do that. So about um, half hour into your uh, into your walk, uh, there's actually a cha slight change of vegetation. Uh, there are there are dandelions just starting to pepper the ground around you. 
Okay, once we see dandelions, can I, I guess, do a nature check to see if these guys are the same properties as the grass? Sure. What? Okay, these are like ripe dandelions, but here's the thing. They have snow on their petals. They like Their petals are actually snow. Like the petals are made of snow? Yeah, like these are ripe dandelions with snow. And they're on as their petals. Can I what's attempt that white stuff on what what's that white stuff their petals are made of? That's that's snow. What is that? What's snow? What? Uh bundle yeah. just takes a handful. Ronya and... looks over at uh, Dash. I'm assuming yeah. Dash has never seen snow. Probably not, honestly. You live in a very arid uh, savanna type. Yes. He doesn't know what snow is. Um, DM, can Speak With Plants be a ritual spell? Uh, well, that's we- Go ahead. That's weird. It's like- it's like water, but not. Essentially. It's frozen water. Huh. Oh, God. What's wrong? I don't like this place already. Oh, we've only been here for the better part of, what, an hour? Right. Yeah, uh, let, let, let Rania's answer get question. Yes, let Rania's answer get question. Let Rania's question get answered. Welcome back to English class with the dynamics of good and evil. Um, so, ritual plant. Uh, how long does it take to cast a spell? I think it takes like a, a few minutes. It's an action. Uh, it's an but, action. Uh, uh, but uh, usually uh, for rituals, it costs like I don't know ten uh, minutes plant, of time. Plant planted it here. Planted in the chat. Let me read it real quick. I think also with ritual spells, it needs to have a ritual tag. Yeah, I think it it's not a ritual spell, but I don't God, know. God it, damn it, come on! I'd, I'd like it to be. Because it's, uh, because, uh, speak Pond. to animals is a ritual spell. Pawn, this is a PG-13 stream, I'll have you know. Yeah. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> Despite the fact we always break that rule. Uh, especially me. <laughs> yeah, because that one doesn't specifically have, a, a ritual yeah. tag next to it. Um... You would need I, I to have practiced it. You would need to have practiced it as a ritual, and we need to we need to hone that out of uh, out of combat, out so of adventure. It's possible or to it's possible to make it into a ritual spell. Oh yeah, definitely. That's interesting. But I uh, yeah, it's useless to me right now. So I can't like speak to down in the alliance and t ask him what the hell's going on. Don't you oh, pull that tone no, with no. me, pawn? But good to know you can turn stuff into rituals. That's actually really good information to know. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, and I didn't know that I can spells out uh, like uh, uh, without having them prepped either. That's very educational as well. Using a lot of like same rules as we do with the training. So. Mm -hmm. uh, can yeah, I sure. can I attempt to pluck one of the dandelions to study later? Well, I think you did in order to show him the snow. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, then, you, you pick gonna... one up, but as soon as you do, the snow falls off the petal. Like, you pluck it, <laughs> it's almost like connecting it to the fort, to the ground, was the only thing keeping it stable, and it's kind of like disconnecting a power cord from a fan, like it just shuts off. Well, so now I'm just holding a dandelion stalk? Yeah. Okay. That's gonna... It feels extremely plasticky. Like so rubber. It's not even a plant? Yeah, well, is it not even a living plant? Or... Oh no! It's organic. Can I study this plant? I... You probably want to get a fresh one. Uh, can I roll a nature check on this plant? Uh, sure. Well, how are you examining. What, are you examining a new plant? This particular plant in his hand? Mm, I'm going to, uh, like, look at one of the un uh, uh, picked ones. And, um, I'm gonna scratch my head a little and just, like, look at the uh, plant, because I don't think I've seen one. While I've seen doing, the lions, but... While they're doing that, Dash is, again, going to be keeping an eye out to make sure nothing's trying to sneak up on us. So will, so will Phil, because, uh... You know what? I'll just roll anyway. <laughs> yeah, you're on top of a badger, so you got a good vantage point. 
I don't know why, hey, but this is that hey, level 21. Hey, 20, 21 vision. 21, 21 vision. Uh, yeah, that's... so, uh, so Rania, you just, you just can't pull it out of the, you go for a new plant, but you can't, like, uh, 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 like, you just see veins popping out of his ears, like, Do you need a, need a little help there, buddy? Uh, I haven't really been very good with plants lately, huh? I hand hold out my dagger to him. Maybe this will help. I'm not trying to pull it out. I'm trying to figure out what they are or uh, why they're like this. Oh. Yeah, you just examine okay. it closely and you just you you poke it and you at first poke the snow and it stays sunken in, but then it just like a balloon reinflates when you try and investigate it and you just flick the, the stalk and it is here's the thing you flick it when it's in the ground and it feels solid like your flick won't move it at all like it's like got, like almost like it's a it's rubber surrounding rebar huh. if I had time to rest I could probably have been able to speak to these plants but Mm. It's a bad idea to stay in. I'm assuming it's a bad idea to stay in one spot for too long in here. That's very but, true. Probably for there are things in the Feywild, for example, that can make you want to stay forever. Okay. Uh, which is why I'm hoping you guys don't take too long with the dandelions. By the way, what do our 21s get us? I was about to get to that. Um... After you guys do that, and you guys start continuing forward, after about another five minutes, you look up at the sky, and there are, like, lines in the sky. Like, you can't see too far ahead, but there are, like, it looks like, like, mechanical pencil leads just flying in rapid succession above your head. What is that? What's what? Mar 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 I looks kind up. of don't want to find out. She points up to the sky. Do I see these things? Uh, if you squint. Like, you're looking at, like, well, it just looks like the sky. But then you squint a little bit, like, huh. Hmm. What do I roll to, like, investigate what these things are? Or, or like, figure out what these things are? Nature? Arcana? <laughs> investigation? Oh, pawn. Uh, so, you would roll a an Arcana with disadvantage. Can I roll as well? Sure. Oh, damn it! Just Disadvantage? Me. Disadvantage. <laughs> Disadvantage. Alright. I'm gonna roll this too. You've got pretty <laughs> fucking good disadvantage. <laughs> I was gonna try and guess in case, but never mind. Oh, wait, yeah. no, that's a, that's a two. Uh, I clicked advantage on accident. Actually, with Rania, no, you have passed face. It would have been straight, but that still would have been a six. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dash, you're like, yeah, what? Rania, you're like, um, those aren't dragonflies, I don't think. I hope not. Flying stick insects? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Fel. Hey. You you read a random textbook while in Bard College one like you were trying to impress someone. I think you were out like at the out like at the library and trying to catch someone's eye, so you picked up a random book where like, I'm gonna read you this book about the mysteries of the of the fae. The mysteries of the Fae. You're like trying to show off your friends, and you read something that stuck with you about how sometimes those who end up in the presence of the Fae don't realize it because they get caught in some sort of temporal space all of its own. Now they said, now the books said it varies between person, between personal experience. It can be as simple as the same resounding chill down your spine every time you pass by every every like 25 steps or so or it can be like a tree you just keep noticing has the same knot hole you keep passing every quarter mile this you think it is if, if it's not a, one of those temporal spatial things it's definitely an inorganic part of the environment that most likely is due to the fey presence. So this fey pre uh, this fey presence is basically letting us know that we're in basically a temporal loop. Oh, 
or that we could be. Oh, sorry. I was, I was, I was actually, get, uh, I was actually talking to the DM because oh. I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to shorten everything. Here's the thing: they're running parallel to <laughs> you. They're not running like a, what's the word? Uh, when it's like a T, when it's going, uh, horizontally. Perpendic to you. Perpendic it's not running perpendicular. perpendicular. It's running parallel to you, so they are actually moving forward where you're heading. Hmm. Hmm. So, and every mi and a... every minute you walk, they move slightly faster. I believe we're near a temple loop in the Fey. Run your flinches should... at this. Should we... Look, they're moving. They're moving slightly faster when we move. Should we move forward then? Yes. I think so. Okay. Bundle now is holding on to his dagger just in case, feeling uneasy. And as we begin moving forward again, Dash is still looking around, keeping an eye out. Okay. Survival checks, everyone. Uh, actually, before we do that, can, we I use can I use Prime Evil Awareness? You can try. And it scratches his head. Dandruff everywhere. Why does this game hate me? <laughs> I God damn it! <sighs> okay, um Talik, you realize that uh you definitely should follow those lines because for some reason your gut tells you we should probably move faster. you get the Jeff Goldman must must go faster. Uh, guys I guess maybe we follow the lines and stop moving. Something does not feel right right now. Okay. All right, pick up the pace. And for me, I, I use primeval awareness at the first level, so I only get this for a minute. Okay. So, do I sense any creatures within a mile? Uh. Okay. Yes, you sense. One creature directly ahead of you. It is a sm oh. it is a medium sized creature. It is bipedal and it is slightly elevated from you. By about twenty okay. feet. Well then I relay this to everybody and, and agree with Talek. We gotta move. Go. Okay. Mirania starts moving at um, full speed and he uh, commands Baggy to do the same. Okay, I need you all to make con checks. Mm. Oh, not bad. On checks, not uh, saved. Could be worse. On checks? 16! Oh, oh Finally me. roll okay. God! Wait, does she have to still make the con checks when, uh, when Baggy's holding her? Okay. So what happens next, as soon as you take off running, for the first five seconds, nothing happens. Then, a burst of frozen icy wind comes down barreling down the road, and it hits you all square one. God damn it. And actually, it starts out heading right towards you, but eventually, as you keep piling through, it eventually writes itself now to where it's almost running perpendicular to you guys. Like, it's coming to you from the east, heading westward. So it's at our backs? No, it's... It's from your... It's from the east. It's coming... F oh. It's coming... This way. Mm. Almost like it's, it's trying to blow you off the road. Okay. Mm. okay. My, your, primary, your my primeval awareness is still intact. Did that creature's position move? Nope. Okay. Say to the party, keep going towards where I feel that that sensation from. And you got All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, Fell and Dash, you guys almost get blown off. Fell, you just grip onto Baggy's like shoulder, like, oh no! But you manage to, to keep <laughs> oh, to keep a good grip, and you're just you're just leaning off like in a western when like someone almost falls off their horse, but they're still holding on just barely. And it's you're just you're just barely holding on to your mount. Ryan growls and. Uh, 
Oh yeah, you got you, you know what this means now. I gotta make a gu I gotta make a guy that she was trying to impress, uh, impress or girl. Might be one of one or the other. I gotta make them now. <laughs> um. Take a shot. I would like to do something. Uh, I would like to. Uh, hmm. Ranya lets out an annoying grunt as he's buffeted by the cold wind, and he uh, uh, he turns up his head and shouts to the wind. He starts saying the words "stop" in all five of the languages he speaks: Elven, Common, Halfling, Primordial, and Druid. Okay. Uh, uh, does anything come of it? Or rather, uh, do I have to roll either persuasion or okay? Uh, so, which so the first language you shout in is like common? Uh, yeah, I'll shout uh, in common uh, first, and then Elvin. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll give I'll forgo halfling. I don't think uh, halfling will be very helpful to me here. So common, uh, Elvin, primordial, primordial, and druidic. As soon as you open your mouth to say something in Druidic, a snowball just comes out and it's like, <laughs> Keep moving forward. Fell kind of snickers. On your lips, I'll growl and then he shouts, Stop in Druidic. Another snowball. Make a deck save. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I activated Jack of All Trades. Uh, Last what's your what's what's your AC? AC is fifteen. <laughs> yeah, that that still hits you square on the, in the in the le in the right ear. Poom. Ooh! Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, so wait, you hit the ground. Uh. Oh, no, Ron, you're on. You're okay, run, you're run, he starts rolling away out of sight. Dash will, is immediately trying to catch him before he gets too far away. What do I roll? Um, okay, since you're going to get him, I will allow this. Uh, basically, you eventually catch up to him, and you grab him. But he, his like entire body, he's been, he's basically like in the cartoons when he starts rolling in a snow down a snow covered <laughs> hill. He's like, oh, oh. he's now a little <laughs> round snow demon. <laughs> I'm picking him up and trying to make my way back to the group. Ronnie shot. Uh, Ronnie shot. Fuck you, and Druidic. <laughs> Stop pissing it off. I need you both to make deck saves. Oh, oh my god. god. Ronnie disadvantage since he's being grappled. <laughs> Twelve. Okay, Dash. What? You you see a big old snow and ice ball coming. Like, oh no, you duck. However, Ronnie. <laughs> You just, it nicks you on the side of the forehead, like, boom, oh. Roger falls over limp on top of dashing in, like, uh. You take four pride damage. <laughs> Shut up before you get all of us killed, Roger. And Dash is doing his best to rejoin the party, and he's just gonna hold on. You know to what? For Fluff, yet. that ice ball looked like an old World War II mine, like a mine you'd find in the sea, like big old ball <laughs> covered in, sp in ice spikes. <laughs> but, but, you know, do I make it back to the group no problem, or do I? Oh yeah, you, you make it back eventually, but they're they're just staring at you like, where'd they go? And I'm assuming we're basically in a blizzard right now, right? Yes. You are in whiteout so conditions. We are back real quick. Anywhere. Right. Are we good to continue? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So let me lessen the music a little bit. But, uh... It's powerful music. I'm going to just convey to the party, we should keep moving forward. I still feel this guy right in front of us. Rania hides behind, uh, Dash. Well, on his back. Where are you try gonna try and make a harness? No, I'm just kind of like I'm hooking my feet into his pocket, kind of. Rodney, right, if you say anything that'll get throw stone at us, I am going to chuck you. Rodney, uh, stares at Dash again for a moment, 
weighing his options. Or even better, I'll use you as a shield. And not you get hit by all the snow. <laughs> Why'd you oh, run wow. dash against tail? Dash again if you get away from the thing that happens with the rabbit can. Hey, hey, Brett. Yes? What do I roll to smack her on the upside the head? Uh, strength check. It's with passing. Advantage. It's oh. passing. Because <laughs> he's right next to you. <laughs> what do I roll to dodge? Whap, he, so, box your, he boxes your e your other ear. That's like, what, four non-lethal damage? Eh, Rugged three not three, three pride damage. Riot never druidic. touch the tail. Riot Did, did Ranya touch someone's tail? He just touched Dashigan's tail. No, no, Abel's asking this in character because I don't think she knows. <laughs> Dashigan raises his hand. Yes, he just did. Ranya, you I, know that's a uh, you know that's a bad thing. You you can't do that. As it's, she grips just... for life or death on Baggy. <laughs> yeah, basically, uh, she's scolding him. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> don't she... you know that's a choice of life or death? Okay, Bundle's gonna like, yeah. turn around at everybody and say, "Can we please focus?" <laughs> yeah, the, the, <laughs> no longer carrying Grania now, so he's not gonna cover Grania, and he's <laughs> just gonna start trying to move forward again. I'm gonna push us through the snow. <sighs> yeah, it's it's getting thicker and thicker as you get through. Is it also it's... getting colder? Oh yeah, under the con save. <laughs> Okay. I think it. I think it depends, Pond. If, if the if the halfling was in a ball, it would be more like a buckler. Oh, I am prepared. The snow sucks. <laughs> Let's see how I am. Uh, bro, Bye, guys. Uh, can I? Uh, can I have advantage? I was trained, 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 trained in um. Just constitution. And, and here's a question: Do I need to roll at disadvantage since Dash has never been in this kind of condition? <laughs> no, no, it's a straight, just straight con. Okay. Okay, um, so my training okay. in the Snowy Mountain uh, did help me. Okay. Neither advantage nor disadvantage <laughs> for us. Uh, 13, fuck my life. Okay, I've so... Never had any good rolls. So, Fel, I, your fingers are getting good. frostbitten, because they're still gripping onto Baggy, and you still haven't quite gotten to right yourself yet. Um, Metallic and Rania, it's a bit nippy, like your earlobes are feeling kind of numb. Um, hey, I, I have fur. Yeah, it's still snow. And it's blowing at approximately 60 miles per hour across you. Okay, that's not good. I have a question. Is it natural snow, or does this seem, or does this seem like it would cast it like, as a spell? It feels natural enough. Can I roll something to check? Faithful Pawn asks, would a, would a halfling count as a buckler or a kite shield? <laughs> <laughs> if the halfling's in a ball, it would definitely be a buckler. But if it's like a T-pose or something, then definitely a <laughs> Oh my god. That's a quote. Quote it. Quote it. Best That's thing you thing. know, Talix is like wearing Ronya as a shield, and he shouts out in the T-pose. Halfling <laughs> bash. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, what do I roll to check if this is, uh, like, a uh, spell or not? Arcana. Uh, okay, run your scratches by ears. Uh, oh, son of a bitch! You have nothing in Arcana. I what do you expect? Uh, I hate my rolls. I, I mean, them. I don't think this is a naturally occurring snow, but still, it, it hurts and stings well enough. Does uh, it, does it sound like... Do I know if it's a spell or not? You're pretty sure this, the way that that it first interacted with you, it, this is this is most likely ar arcane, but you're kind of stinging and trying to hurry. Cool. I'm going to try to use dispel magic. What are before okay. you do? What are the results of mine and Bundle's contracts? Oh, you guys are taking this like champs, like. Like, okay. Bundle just puffs out his chest, slicks back his ears, and it's like... It's just like, yeah, he's just radiating a slight bubble of heat around him, like, yeah, no, this won't get me down. Dash, you just, <laughs> like, you you barf acid a little bit onto yourself to, like, to, like give yourself a little bit of a heat buzz, and it works. It 
it actually gets your blood Meanwhile, pumping a little bit. Mel might lose her fingers. <laughs> uh, time to see what happens from this. Because I okay. heard the tone. Oh. Mm, your spell casting ability is wisdom. Mm-hmm. Spell save of 14. This is your ability. No, 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 no. No, it's based on the target spell you're attacking. So okay. roll that ability check. Um, uh, what do I roll? Meow, 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 meow. Roll you, what's, meow, what's your, meow, what's your spell casting ability? Uh, da -da. it is a plus, uh... No, no, you're, you're, a, what is, is it charisma, wisdom? Oh, wisdom. Roll a wisdom check. Oh, boy. Ha! That's a 22. Not bad. Nice. Huh. I was not planning... Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry! Did I suck you over? This was a level 9 goddamn spell. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what you're saying is, Ron, you just got extremely lucky. <laughs> Finally! Because <laughs> that DC was 19, Ronya. That was a 19 DC. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, you break me every time. Haha, <laughs> I know. The, the, the curse of the DM having never being able to plan around the player's shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the, the the blizzard just slows, and now it's just gently like Robert Frost. Uh, crossroads at a wind on a winter night. Just oh, it's a dainty little like snow globe in here. Huh. Mm. We should probably. Meanwhile, still Fel keep... okay. yeah, meanwhile, Fel is shivering her ass off. While the snow is lessened, can I do a perception check to see if I can see the actual target of my prime? Oh, prime you don't even need to. Away? You look, and three hundred feet ahead of you, there was a gate, like a portcullis style gate, like. A small Skyrim fort, like Ryan just about quality. three, about a hundred, hundred fifty yards away. Ryan takes out a torch and lights it with druid crafts. He puts it next to Feliana, or moves it. Uh, next to okay. Cl close to her, so she's warming up. <laughs> uh, okay. I need to roll something. Oh God, no. Right, yeah, Becky's on fire. No. No, no, huh. I'm putting out with Druid This crap. is fine. Why the Wait, hell? he's on fire? Why the hell? I didn't even have to roll anything for that. You said you put it next to Feliana. Feliana's currently yeah. riding on top of a moving, wa a moving, breathing bean bag. Yes, I know. I'm not, like, uh, putting it. You need to bag. word your things very, very carefully. <laughs> okay, well, well, the fire is out. Baggy, sorry about that. Ba Baggy has a nice little I'm... has a nice little torch mark on his hiney. Yeah, sorry. Uh, Ryan raises the torch up uh, as high as he can to uh, have it near Feliana, but away from Baggy, so that she can warm her hands up. Yeah, cause you have to. You also have to remember, Ryan. You're really short, so th that makes sense. That that could have gotten really close to Baggy. Well, well, also the fact that. Uh, the, the the blizzard stopped, so she doesn't need to hold death, death grip on Baggy anymore. She can just take a break yeah. and readjust herself if need be. Like, yeah, she just like, like, like she just readjusts her readjusts herself um, real quick. Like, okay. All right. Well, okay. Now that forget what I'm doing. Then I put out my torch and put it back. Never mind. Um, well, no, she could still use the torch. Too late. Oh, I guess I'll die. Yes. Can we move forward now? Mm -hmm. Anywho, as we move towards the portcullis, I'm looking around to see if there's a caster that casted that. Yeah, and Dash will 
Dutch will actually look around for anyone in general as well, other than us. Uh, perception. Mm -hmm. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> nah. Eh, why not? Who knows? Maybe. Just maybe. Maybe. <laughs> this is the best one out of all of them so far. Um, there's always Talek. Okay, what about me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Um, so, a dash, you, you try and look around, there's still some snow that just gets in your eye, like, ah, shit. Argh, I don't like cold. A uh, bundle, uh, you d just barely make out the fact that it there is still that that little dot of light that signifies a living being uh, towards the top of that porticola. So it's about it's about a, a ten yards off the ground you can make out you think would be I there's like probably a, a little station just inside the portcullis. Alright. Uh, that guy probably must be baffled as hell that um, uh, uh, that someone in our group was able to take out his ninth level spell with a third level. And Vranya mm -hmm. and Fel, you guys just like, brush off the snow a little bit, you stare around and look ahead like, oh, huh, there is a gate. Cool. Ronya okay. readjusts his mask on his face. And oh, fell, and fell, um, you glance around a little bit, trying to see where this thing is coming from. You notice there is a single, long, like, spider silk thin cloud coming from the, the straightforward, like, spindling out, like, a spiderweb, like, conical net coming out from straight ahead of you, and it just ends up directly ahead of you, directly on top of you. What the? Ryan tried to blow it away with druid crap. <laughs> and Wait, that landed on us? And you guys are, and you guys are still going ahead? Yes. yes. Yeah, what? after after about 50 yards, you exit out, and like in a cartoon, like, like, huh, it's perfectly fine. Look back, yeah, there's a there's still light snowfall right behind you, but out here it's like, huh. Okay. Crap. Uh, that was, was, that one of those, was that one of those temporal loops that you were talking about earlier, Phil? What? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. No, so, so I'm, I'm asking this as a, as a, as a player. Like, she, just, what? she just stares at her hands like, oh, ah. Like, uh, I tried to offer you a I torch. might not be able to. Don't blame it on me, man. I'm sorry. I think it might, I think it might be. Although I'm not sure. It might be coming from the gate. Are you sure? Whatever's behind it. Oh, let's... Sorry. Yeah. Dash, it was just gonna say, well, let's walk on up to the gate. Mm. Yeah, let's go say hi to the gut one who wanted to give us a freezing welcome. Do you have Ryan... any better ideas? I'll need to invest Ryan, in you some looks over the bundle. You're the one who wanted us to come here in the first place, remember? I know. All the more reason to go ahead and get this over with, he says he marches up to the gate. Again, why are you complaining then? I'm not complaining. I was... I was making a... I was just stating the obvious. We did have a freezing welcome. Mm. So, I took care of that way. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you. Here, have a cat... Have for have a cap as as thanks, I say as I toss him the glitter, the glitter cap. Meow, 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 looks at the glitter cap, pocks it. Yeah, right. he, he what? I pass him the, the glass. I know, I was asking what Rania said. Oh, okay. With the glitter cap, right? Yeah. What did that do? Uh, no oh, one, no shit. one bothered to investigate it. God damn it! Uh, Farrell was gonna ritual cast like a whole bunch of stuff on her items. Wait, did during did, a short rest? Did Ra <coughs> what did Rodia do with the cap? I don't know. I was trying to ask. He pocketed that, did, it. Oh, he pocketed I mean, I, it. I thought you said he tossed it. We, like, okay. Yeah, I <laughs> thought you said you tossed it as well. Yeah, and I was like, I just, I just need, I just need, uh, need pearls and owl feathers. I got one. 
We you you're, do have pearls. Oh no, I have pearls. I just it just guy, your kidneys feel so itchy, uh, Rania. God, <laughs> damn it! Oh look, we found the owl feathers. <laughs> when you reach into his cloak and scratches at his kidneys. Yeah, there, there's there's some dense dense plumage there. Moranya pulls one out and he hands it to Feliana. He can use this uh, to, uh, uh, to to cast identify when we have time, I guess. She takes it. Have we made Thanks. it to the gate yet? Thanks, Moranya. Blood on the on the feather. Oh, there's blood on it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Investigation. Oh, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> nice. There's a couple of blood specks on the tip of that feather. Huh. She look. Uh, she. I'm gonna become an Aracocra or a Kanku mm. at some point. I suppose none of us can be human for long, huh? Or at least relatively. I mean, uh, you're about to say, you're not human. Don't even try that. Oh, I'm breaking out <laughs> the racial <laughs> stuff already. None of us are human. <laughs> I guess we all have to be furries. I'm a demon. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're a furry. Uh, don't even try. <laughs> uh, I've seen Jesus your kind at, uh, at the conventions. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get going. So yeah, you've got a couple owl feathers. You're not. Oh you don't really want to know where they came from. Now that you think about it. <laughs> no, like, uh, how many exactly? I don't know. How many did you hand her? Uh, three. Three. That's just enough. Yeah. Tres. <laughs> All right. Tres. Not cuatro. I didn't want to say five, because that may You can identify up to three items using a ritual identify, but I believe that it takes ten minutes to cast. Let's not do it here. Alright, so, so it's... Uh, uh, oh no, I'm not going to do it here, I just want to get get this out of the way. So it's one owl feather per three items. Um, no. Basically, uh, the way I run the spell is... Can you group identify? So it's. Uh, yeah, I'm mean, like, it to. Like... Actually, I'm homebring it to where you can identify up to two items with every casting of the spell. Neat. Uh, but okay. it would be like a trade-off where you can get most, you can get wow. a bit of knowledge on it, but you don't get everything on it if you use it for multiple items. Mm. It's like one item, okay. you get the full optimized check. If you do it for two items, you get most of the idea of what it does. And what and if she rolls really well on it? Well, I know what I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Or maybe later. Yes, your spell points mm -hmm. are consumed. What okay. about the pearls? You told uh, you told me about the the pearls before that like, um, uh, like, uh, like after one use, it would be uh, it would be like a, a bit. Three checks. How can I say this? Yeah, the the the, the 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 nice pearls. The first time they would lose their luster. The second time they would be consumed and turned to dust. All right. Thanks. So you get to use the nice pearls twice each. Or you could just sell them nice. and get money like you guys just lost, but that's that's that, but that's none of my business. <laughs> Let's do it, King Owen! God damn it! Anywho. Yeah, have we made it to the gate? Uh, you guys may move about uh, 60 more yards in and you uh, just reach a, a short trench like right in front of the portcullis. Like, huh, okay. And it's just, yeah, uh, pretty quiet. Uh, no one seems to have noticed you approaching since there's no since you guys don't hear any shouts or of halt or arrows land at your feet. It's just, oh, here we are at a trench in front of the portcullis. This is too okay. quiet. Dash is gonna look around to see if any, to see if you can see anyone. Uh, okay. Perception? Sure. Alright, um, you look... You look around a little bit, and the fact that it's so quiet, you get the idea that, first of all, not much probably happens around here. Like, like this is only here for, like, courtesy. Like, they don't expect anyone to come from the south because of, well, first of all, there's the river, and second of all, there's the pass. So, it's almost like this is, like, a courtesy entrance rather than an actual entrance is what the idea you get. Um, 
is the way the layout work is that there's the trench and past the trench there's the actual gate yeah like there's just a, a brief like uh five or six foot long eight foot deep uh just triangular trench like sharp there, angle sharp angle are there any rocks or anything around um, within grabbing distance uh, you could dig a little bit, but at the bottom it's mostly just small pebbles in the trench, and most of it's, it's smooth dirt. Dash is basically looking for something to toss into the trench to see if anything happens. <laughs> so, so, you know what? I'm not using it anyway. Dash is going to take his dove ocarina, toss it into the trench to see if anything happens. Why? Uh -huh. Alright, you toss in the trench? The Dove Ocarina into the trench, yes. Alright, you toss it in, and it disappears. I'm very uh, like, you see, like, a ripple in something, and then it just disappears, and it, the trench looks exactly the same. So, so I'm gonna roll an Arcana. Why you look through the dash? You could've just used a rock! I didn't see any good ones around. You. What would the well, one? I am now I down know. one Ocarina. How many did you have? One. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle's God gonna... damn! <laughs> it was just a... Bundle's gonna look at a dash. You know I have like 40 of these, right? Right? As they as I hold up an arrow. <laughs> just... Just be thankful I even thought to do it to make sure there wasn't shenanigans going Why on. Why do you lift bag of good berries? Going on. I mean, we were all gonna check. <laughs> But, uh, uh but press the wrong button. Very bright. Can I roll an arcana check? <laughs> uh, sh sure. Disadvantage or no? Yeah, just straight. Just straight, alright. Here we go. Faithful pawn, why don't you always have a 10 foot pole? I don't know. I, ha question. I have one, but it's attached to me. Also, that's not 10. He said 10 feet, not 10 inches. Or 10 centimeters. Ten inches is still fairly impressive for a halfling. Um, so, what? uh, Fel, you stare at this, and you're like, wait a sec. You dip your toe into it, it's just transmortified water. Mm. It's just illusory it's just water. water. It's it's made to look like a straight nothing. Like, it's made to look like plate that? glass, but even better than plate glass, where you can't even tell it's there. Like, unless you're oh, yeah. really, really close to it. Hey Dash, stick your head down there. Tell me if you see your ocarina. I uh, don't want to, but all right. Do it's it. just water. Dash is going to try to look under it now that he knows it's water. Oh yeah, you get you look down, you look left, look right, look left again, and there it is. It's floating down the current. Ah, oh, up! A mage hand. Can she can't, I see she it? She can't see it. Exactly. Stick your head down there. How no. far away? How far away from <laughs> Dash is it? It's about 20 feet. Can I make it there? Can I catch up to it on land with my 40 feet movement speed and just snatch it out of the water? Sure. I'm pretty sure. You, you run 40 feet down. down. You run 40 feet down. You stick your head in and watch it approach. Dash will snatch it as soon as it's close enough. Yeah. Have you seen any Sahagans? And actually, yeah, while I'm down there, I'm going to look around. Is there anything to be concerned about? I'm going to roll something. Goodbye. Uh... Okay, as you pull out the 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 Aquina, first of all, it's a bit bleached. Uh, oh. Second oh. of all, a little head pokes out of the uh, one of the Aquina holes, and it's a quipper. Nah, nah. No, no, not that bitch again. <laughs> Dash will. Wait, I stuck my toe in the water. <laughs> Dash will try to shake the quipper away while trying to look around to see if there's It gets its head else. caught as it's coming out, so the tail end is still flapping out of the ocarina, but the head is like, ah, ah. It's like, it's like when you stick your head into a chair, but you're like, oh no, this is a bad idea. <laughs> Dash will try to help it get out of his ocarina with his other hand, and once he's free, he'll exit the water with Okay, yeah, you, you, you pull it, you, you tear its tail a little bit, but you eventually pull it out, it's like, ah, Sorry. Leave the water. <sighs> hey, Brett, did you say I could go uh... down there? So. Quipper? Oh, we're not going down there. Mm. Hey, no, Brett, no. Uh, did you say that uh, I could change into a challenge rating of one or. One. 
One? Okay. That's different from it usually is, but cool. My rule is you can change into an animal one quarter of your current level. Oh, all right. That makes a whole lot of difference. Wait, one quarter? So right now I'm level six? You're level one. You can change up to a level one. Uh, wait, one... Would that be one quarter? Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'll take I it. I don't round up to 1.5. There's no such thing as a challenge rating 1.5. Either kind of is... No, no, never mind. There's not. Not in Brett's game, there isn't. Uh... uh um... Yeah, I don't want to uh, challenge whatever's down there right now. Or rather, I could, but... So, is there any way for us to cross over this trench? Uh, it's only about, a uh, Nine foot across. And how... When I was yeah, down it's like, there, it's like Yeah, it's like a World War One trench. It's like, nine foot across, eight foot deep, eight foot deep, on like a pyramid angle. Like an inverted pyramid angle. With puppies so inside we would, of it. we would be swimming it if we were trying to cross it. Oh well, yeah, or you could try and make a... A, a running jump, I don't know. Like I said, it's nine feet across. It's not nine yards across, it's nine feet. That reminds me, I have to look at Dash, to, Dash uh... ponders a moment and looks to Peliana. I have an idea you're probably not gonna like it, especially if I fuck up. Um, I also what have an idea, but I'll let you go first. I would, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna jump this, and I'll I was gonna take Meliana with me, so she doesn't have to deal with swimming across. Uh, I have, uh, I have another idea. Um, I can actually cast Water Walk as a ritual. All right, put it, in, put it in the, put it in the chat for me. I need to read this. Ah, okay. Those yeah. little fuckers can jump. <laughs> I see. That's infinitely better. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll dash again. Won't contest it. This he'll agree. Yes, I do. Yeah, when you were in the cavern. What cavern? The one with the water elemental. Hindsight. Uh, no, uh, I'm. I wasn't level. Actually, it was. Oh, Hi hindsight. Uh, it, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it was hindsight. I didn't know I could use ritual. Uh, I would rather end up walking up to Adrani with both hands on the strangling position. <laughs> Listen, I, I get my information from the. Just told me, just told me that I can cast uh, spells as a ritual without preparing. I did not know this before. <laughs> uh, I tell Talik, just save your bloodlust for anything that might want to fight us. So, uh, run and get that that won't happen. Can I run slap him? Right. Please let me slap him. Dash again, slap him. You have him. to, you have to make know, a hit. <laughs> you know, if you do, I can choose not to cast Water Walk with you, or just let it go while water you... Water Walk with me? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. No, God, <laughs> to, damn it. To be fair, no. the reason I slapped Roger was because he did, he did something that's a big no-no most of the time in Dragonborn culture. You never touch the tail. Unless ever. it's a mate. Apparently, yeah, that's the thing with all you not can just in, What is wrong? But not just in Dragonborn culture, but in Tiefling Tabaxi and, and Tabaxi culture, that is not exactly the. No, mm, you just unless you don't never touch the tail. Unless, unless you're, <laughs> you're allowed. Well, unless you're allowed. Well, everyone's arguing while you're <laughs> sitting on the ground, uh, like legged and trying to cast his uh, water walk spell as a ritual. Yeah, um, da Dash can slap Tarania because he essentially did what's the equivalent of, like, say, groping, uh, groping someone. Or you're you he's trying to propose to you. Bundle says, as, 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 in a teasing, te teasing. Well, style. sucks to be him. I, well, sucks Bundle be him, looks I up in the sky. There's a shittily drawn bear with an umbrella spinning in a 180 degree motion. <laughs> 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 to, to that, Dash will reply, well, sucks to be him, I'm only into women. <laughs> Joke, so do you. I was turned into a woman once. It was weird. You what? <laughs> anyway, let's get this ritual over with. Yeah, you just, uh, Ronnie, you just pull up some mud. You, you cast Water Walk. Actually, it involved the cork, which uh, I have a couple of corks on me. Water walks uh, require a cork as a um, 
Why didn't it say it here? So yeah, I have a cork on me. Okay, so what you could do is you take the cork, you crush it in your hand, and you, like, Mr. Miyagi it all over your hands. Then you scoop some mud out of the riverbed. And basically you make snowshoes out of the mud for everyone. Cool. Oh. Huh. Line up. Huh. Line up. I gotta coat your feet. Don't this stick just got on. weird. <laughs> it ain't gonna be weird until you say it's weird, and then it'll be weird. One, two, three, not it. Too late. <laughs> Too late. Let's get this over. Let's get this over with. Dash says as he walks over, fucking barefooted. Rugby just kind of gives uh, uh, Dash a kind of a like light foot massage, like. Mm. Please don't make this weird, <laughs> Anya. You're the one making it weird. No, you're the one making it weird. Stop making it weird. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, slap his feet. Uh, uh, once he's done around, just slap his feet. Done. Okay, right. next. Give it a try before um, uh, uh, before we yeah. test out anyone else. Yeah, Dash will uh, give give the mud the mud water shoes a try. Yeah, the, it, they dip a little bit at first, but once you get your balance, like, oh, this is fine. It's kind of like just learning to walk with snowshoes or with, like, um... Like, there are actually water-walking shoes, but they're, like, little canoes for your feet. Really? Yeah, so they... Yeah, they're, they're basically, like, giant skis. And, uh, <laughs> Like, giant, like, skis slash canoes for your feet. And, uh, yeah, that's basically... It takes just a little bit to, uh, to balance at first, but it's like, oh, yeah, I, you got this. If, after, like, a... Uh, 30 seconds, like, okay, balance, 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 ba balance achieved. Ronnie gives a thumbs up and uh, gestures for someone else to come forward and so we can apply. Meanwhile, so Dash will wait on the water. That way, if anything bites his feet, he'll be able to let everyone else know. Yeah. Also, be, goes careful about the, be careful about the current, it may take you downstream if you're not careful. Uh, that is true. Yeah. Is Dash uh, currently, like, sliding to, across the trench? <laughs> At like about a five, <laughs> at like about, it's not terribly fast, but it's like, yeah, there's a slight like, ee, like he's slowly moving away. Like, oh. It's Do not I like he steps out and like, whoa, holy started. crap, there he goes, he's half a mile away. <laughs> yeah, he'll keep walking back every time he's like, he moves five feet, he can move five feet back. Alright, well, I apply, uh, I apply belly on his feet next. Oh yeah, you get it done. Now, uh, who's next? Uh, Talek? Talek walks over. Okay, do me. Slip, if slap, sloop. Yes. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, uh, alright, you're all good, buddy. <laughs> Fucking pawn! <laughs> Dirty tail, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Rodney is the only one in our group without a tail, isn't he? Oh yeah! <laughs> I feel so attacked right now. <laughs> God damn it. You came here out to have a good time. And he's honestly, a, he's in the so proverbial minefield right when you think about it. <laughs> Although, I imagine the next thing Brett is going to make Rodney have is some tail what feathers. He, <laughs> he said, dirty <laughs> tail is happening. <laughs> Oh. Uh, <laughs> after Talek gets done, uh, Bundle's gonna go next. So, oh. Bundle, I mean, uh, uh, Rania looks at Bundle's feet, and is, does he have like paw pads like a cat? Yeah, I do. Y yeah. Mm -hmm. He has beans. Yes, Rania, I have beans. Rania pokes. Beans. Uh, Rania pokes at Bundle's toe beans like hee <laughs> hee soft. <laughs> <laughs> Bundle's fur <laughs> ruffles a little bit. <laughs> the, 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 the tail brushes your scalp as in, don't do it. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Rania with my claws out and say, Rania, please stop. I'm asking nicely. <laughs> okay, okay. Rania, uh, Rania put some mud into your feet. You're like, you'll have to wash it off afterwards, but it should be fine. Rania's yeah, just my Ronnie's just molesting all of the beast races today. I just, uh, I just realized. I, I'm, just, I'm looking at the group shot right now. Three out of uh, three out of five of us do not wear shoes. Huh. I thought the group was the only one who didn't have shoes. No, Bundle and Talik don't wear shoes. Yeah, no, we we don't. 
Oh. <laughs> I thought they had shoes. <laughs> we have those braces around our ankle, but God. yeah. No shit. How does Dashigan shoes work? Yeah, they don't. They don't. Okay. He's barefoot. He told you that a minute oh, ago. Oh, I thought it. Okay. So, uh, Feliano and me are the only one with shoes again? Yeah. Know. Like, there's a reason he doesn't wear shoes. They don't work on Dragonborn. Feliano, when we get to Red Point, you and me are going to go shoe shopping. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Tell's just like, I hate shoe shopping. Yeah. That's why I have these boots. Bullshit. Uh, Ranya starts slathering on some uh, mud onto his feet, and then he, uh, uh, gets onto the water with everyone else. Mud. Oh yeah, and then you yeah. just then as soon as you're done with your own feet, you just shake your hands and the cork and the mud disappears off it. Like, oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Well, it Do takes it. a bit, Wait. but there's still some on there. It's like still sticky. Like, eh. You forgot eh. about back here, Ranya. Oh yes. Um, uh, Is I it too late for to Ranya to do baggy? I don't know. You can just. Do a little yeah. scrape on there, and it's like, oh, yeah. just so I can walk across it. Actually, yeah. potentially, I didn't have to like put any on belly on at all. I could just do the baggy. Oh well, he <laughs> wrote some in the baggy. Uh, uh, nope. Now Rania has to carry baggy over on his back. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> okay. So uh, Rania uh, proceeds to ice skate across the trench. Mm -hmm. Uh no no it doesn't function yeah. like that it's it functions Aww. like you're you have little canoes on your feet that still sink into the water a little bit Aww. and so and there's still the current working against you okay Dash you can all stay next to Feliana in case she needs assistance mm -hmm. oh, actually I'll probably can come on Baggy I'll move ahead of everybody else <laughs> good Baggy was that Baggy we gotta figure out with something you can eat man I know you're like an in but maybe he just some sort of like clothes. I don't know. Nods the head. You hear like styrofoam beans. <laughs> Good boy. Like, I think I saw like the, I saw some like pin cushions, kind of shaped like tomatoes. Maybe like some of those. <laughs> I'm allergic to tomatoes, and then he explodes. <laughs> <laughs> you now have to roll a d7. Ah! It's not so sick. Anywho, we get across the, the little trench, and are we at the gate itself? Or are we yeah, like... you got about uh, about five more yards, about 15 more feet in between the... Uh, uh, actually, about 20 to 30 more feet between uh, the, the edge of the, the trench and the actual like portcullis. Okay, now that we get a, got a good look at it, are we looking like a wooden door or like a, a barred gate-looking gate? Investigation. Uh, does that count for everyone, or just bundle? Uh, just bundle for now. Okay. All right. I have a lot of spells I can do now that I can ritual cast things. Noise, noise, wow. noise. <laughs> okay. Um, the the gate that uh the portcullis uh, that's descending from it uh looks like it's made of crystalline carrots. What? Like huh? just long, <laughs> long. Sp Spiky crystalline vegetables. Yeah, it's like, it's kind of surreal. Three, let's desist. Well, only <laughs> only bundle sees this. He can see it like yeah. like the rest of you guys. Like, oh, it's just it's just a weirdly shaped uh, gate. He's like, oh. Um, Talek, come here. Uh, Talek walks over. What's up? Uh, you see what I see, right? As I say, as I try to do my best to point this out to him. Investigation check, Talek. Oh man. <laughs> Curious Gaskin tries to look over the gate as well. Oh It's a gate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> so do I realize oh, they're God. actually vegetables from that? Yeah, you're like, oh I could eat those. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why is the gate made of vegetables? Uh, that seems like a very poor choice of material. Yeah, Ronnie and Talek, what the hell are you guys staring at? <laughs> Bundle just kind of shakes Holy his head shit. and goes up to one of, to the gate. And are they like spiky? Okay, like, hold on. You go up to the gate. 
I go up to the gate. As soon as you get I'm within five feet of the gate, the a big old glass door slams shut in front of you. You hear from above, who goes there? Is that in, uh, wait wait what language is that then? Elvish. Elvish. Okay. I say. Uh, Hold up. Oh, sorry. I was gonna do something real quick because I have it. Oh. Yeah. Ah, damn it! I, damn it! I don't have a small clay model of a ziggurat. What the hell is a ziggurat? I don't I, fucking I know. I feel like that would be a really difficult material to continuously get. No, all oh. I have to do is make a clay model in the shape of a ziggurat. Uh, I don't know what a ziggurat us? is. A ziggurat. You know what the Tower of ba you know what the Tower of Babel is. It's. What the? Okay, I just looked up what a ziggurat is. Why the fuck do I need that to cast tongues? I don't know. Because it, it, it looks like the Tower of Babel. Uh. No, 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 no. I, I just. I, 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 I looked up what a ziggurat looks like. And I'm like, why the fuck do you need that to cast it, tongues? It's basically a step pyramid. And the tower. No, no, I, no, no. I know what it is. I just don't know why you the fuck you, just you need it. <laughs> because it involves the Tower of Babel. Babel, the Tower of Babel is used to, to uh, combine everyone's knowledge of different languages. Uh, weird why you would need something like that either way, but uh. Well, since I hear this in Elvish, I tell everybody, uh, the welcome wagon's here. Uh, Rania, do you mind uh, stepping up and uh, help me out for a second? Uh, oh, I'm not going to get hit with snowballs again. Common. Common. I'm, I'm going to, I can try. I say I speak back to the person who yelled out, uh, "Hi, uh, we we are a band of adventure." Okay, did he Understand disappear from you guys too. Or is that not preferred? Okay, he just blitzed out on me. Oh, no. uh, he, I heard all that myself. So. Okay, I can't hear anyone. Give me a minute. Yeah. Just... Helicopter. Uh, helicopter's back. Oh no. Run! The Contra's coming! Goodness. This time it's not on me. True. No, it's on either of the two small people, always. <laughs> but, um, what I had said earlier was could we are just a small band of adventurers trying, trying to seek audience. Um, a good bit of us cannot understand what you're saying. Can you speak in common instead? Mm. He just, uh, you don't see anyone. Here's the, you just see the, the face of a wall. Like, you don't even get the Monty Python view of, like, there's a guy at the very, very top you just can't see the features uh, of. It's, it just, you see the face of a wall. It's like, huh. It's a, like, okay, what happened? I just conveyed what I said, and we're getting a response. Look, I don't care what you're here for. I'm not supposed to let anyone in on the side under any circumstances. Uh, under whose orders? <laughs> under whose orders? You know, you know who, you don't know who runs this keep, do you? No. Pa. Figures. Bloody heathens. Is that any way to treat a guest? Is he speaking in common now or Elvish still? Common. Technically, we are. I was, ask, I was asking Brett. Uh, he's still talking in Elvish. He's like, oh. um, he says, bah, bloody heathens. And then he says in common, Who dares approach? The keep of High Priestess Isley the Switch. Isley the Switch. Writing that down. Uh, Same here. One, one How second. Do you spell that? Why looks over at Bundle? Do you want me to try? I can't believe I have to stop taking notes now. 
I mean, we should have been Yeah, it's D&D, &D, &D. you always have to take note. I haven't from the beginning, and I've just kind of like cascaded. I kind of screwed myself over, so I don't know if I should start now or just not bother at this point. I've been doing it since we started. It's okay. But um, I look over at Rania and say, you're welcome to pipe up. You're the only other one who can speak Elvish other than me. Well, he did He did say the whatever's talking uh, switched to common. We said, who dares? Also, Rania, um, uh, think for a moment. He relays everything that had been said between uh, both Bundle and the the other uh, um, um, disembodied, I'm guess, uh, voice. A disembodied voice. Uh, into Dash's head, so we can explain it to the others. Uh, Dash, Dash, Dash will play this game of telephone and in common explain to Feliana and Talek. Mm. Rania moves forward and uh, he uh, looks uh, uh, up at the gate uh, with his mask still on and he speaks aloud uh, in uh, uh, in Druidic I am an envoy of uh, uh, of uh, she who must be the white owl the lord of the sky, the sh the shaper. Get on with it. An envoy of Lady Owl. I am here to have to have words with your lord and see if we can come to an arrangement. I ask that you allow us passage and that you invite us as guests of your realm. I wonder if the Lord would be doing this. <laughs> huh. You also translate this uh, to the dash again, so we can relate to the others. Well, he's, he's speaking in common. Yeah. Yeah. I thought he stopped. Uh, he didn't bother doing it. As soon that. as he is mentioned Isley the Switch, he, twi he switched to common. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this is why you pay attention. <laughs> I didn't hear that, okay? That's why you okay. don't jump- that's why you don't jump on Cheetos in the middle of deep lore. That wasn't me jumping on Cheetos. That wasn't me. I have tea. And I don't have any fancy introductions, I'm just dashing. Uh, um, I am Bundle of Arrows of the uh, Hidden Oasis Clan. Here to seek out knowledge and to uh, um, see about the workings of what happened with the Contessa of Trut. As soon as you mention the Contessa, he's like, "Oh, oh, mm. oh, yeah." What did she do oh. to piss you guys off? I'm um. legitimately curious. Uh, part of an intrusion, and Feliana, uh, Feliana Taldarell, but uh, but part of my intrusion. But yes, what did she do? That is none of your business. It is, uh, considering that she owes a good sum of money to me and my party. It kind of is our business. You and everyone else. <laughs> oh, Wait, what? This is this is starting to get funny. How much does she owe you? Silence. <laughs> <laughs> we are the deck to the letters. Are we sure we think? really wanted to bother with this contest of bundle? I mean, I do. I want to get paid. He says, he says as he lo looks at the dash. It almost sounds like you weren't gonna get paid it anyway. Talent games of yet saying. Then, the, the, then that's why I don't like royals. Well, if we're not getting paid for anything, we just always let her. Wait, but, hold up. Uh, really quick, I was talking to my grandma. What what did she do? <laughs> yeah. So we asked if what did she do? How what she? Uh, how much money does she owe them? We got nothing from that. And so I'm going to be like, uh, hello, you still there, buddy? <laughs> oh no. What makes you think you have the right to barge in here? and bargain for such a low, brazen whelp. 
Well, seeing as how she is supposed to be leading her people, um, and since you took that away, there's no one in charge, and so you've left a, an entire city in anarchy. Yeah, well, that's human business. Well, what's her business with you? Maybe we could, I don't know, sort something out. Hmm. I mean, we do run errands, so... We're the capable sort. We made it through the underpass. Well, this is true. Okay, he's... Okay, roll a persuasion. Roll a persuasion. Oh. Him? Bundle. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Can he got we this yes, Can we assist in the persuasion? No. You it's got just... this bundle? I believe in you. Have, uh, have a bardic inspiration. I'm probably gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> Never <Or> mind. <laughs> roll it anyway, I guess. Yeah, right. roll it anyway. See what happens. Okay, hang on. 1d8. <laughs> what is this curse? <laughs> That's still a mod 20. Yeah. I know, but it's it's a curse of my freaking inspiration. <laughs> You're stuttering like... Uh, what? Huh? Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, didn't you? You guys had like a zombie beholder down there and a bunch and of... The, and the maggot zombie. Don't forget the maggot zombie. Oh yeah, that's that asshole. A little porthole on the, the side flaming. opens up and a silver brown face pops out with these like sunken yet pointed ears and wispy no? wispy salt and pepper hair. It's like... Are you trying to tell me that you made it through the undersider and fought your way... Yes. Behind a zombie holder and whatever the hell spawn we left down there. How yeah, do that's, 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 exactly, that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we're trying to tell you. It's and, because uh, that's exactly what we did. It was a pain in the ass, but we did it. That Earth Ma can go suck a, uh, suck a non existent dick. <laughs> I mean, I only nearly died twice. Wait a minute. How many were originally in your party? Uh, we had a couple of guides with us as well, but. They took their leave out of that. Oh, so they died. No, they just Yes, they just of course they uh, did. Da Dash is actively letting himself get cut off, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> of course, unfortunately, they fell victim to the zombie holder. Okay, he doesn't believe a word you're saying. What? I can't even roll I can't I can't even roll a persuasion? Not against that oh. roll. <laughs> did he get a nat twenty? No. Damn it. But um, Bundle will just keep going and say, "It doesn't. It doesn't really matter. We are here to see about what what we can do for the Contessa. If we can make out a bargain, I would like to do so. If that is a problem, we can go to whatever the wherever the front entrance is, as long as we don't hit, get hit with another blizzard." Wait a minute. Looks up. Looks down. Looks ahead, Looks behind you at the. What the hell? I'm not falling for that. Da dash, dash, why he, he looks behind. I'm assuming he's confused by the lack of a blizzard. Yeah, he's just looking at the... It's not supposed to be calm this time of year. Oh, oh yeah. Run your whistles uh, to himself nonchalantly. Dash not so uh, just completely unsubtly looks at Rania. Kind of doesn't say anything, but he looks at Rania. Well, Bundle will just pipe up. As you can see, we are definitely the capable sort or not. You just can see their little gaps like, what the? Uh, but yeah, the the priest. Uh, hey, oh no. Well, obviously you may not be any ordinary ad adventurers, but still, um... On your raises hands. Will you let us in? I have to pee. Dash <laughs> <laughs> face palms. Uh, please don't Help. mind him. Help if you piss size. on the corners of this of this keep, I will have to slay you. Pulls out a bow. That That's why I'm asking to be let in. I don't want to ruin your lawn. By the call of nature is necessary. What are you, bo born in the Bronx? Just, just piss in the trench. <laughs> there are clippers in there. 
Yeah. Also, things live. <laughs> yeah, uh, things live in there. You wouldn't want to pee in someone's home, would you? He just stares at you, flabbergasted. Like, what the hell? Yeah, welcome to our druid. Dash says with a sigh. Pardon my angry. friends. Uh, uh, pardon my friend. Uh, my friends' interjection. Uh, interjection. He didn't mean any of that, right, Rania? <laughs> Looks at Rania. I do have to pee. Right, right, Rania. Well, you can either pee in the trench or hold it. Yeah. No one's gonna look at your wing ding doodle. Like, it's go and take care of your business. It's bigger than yours. So, what would we what would we have to do to get an audience with your high priestess? Well, obviously you may not be the order any adventurers, but but that doesn't mean that you have the negotiation skills to go head what? to head with. No. Uh, no, we you ripped off something over. fierce for me. Mmm, I heard it. I... One was watching Rania the little... What Rania okay, he, expedition? He says, just because you may, not, you may be some... You may not be ordinary adventurers, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have the negotiation skills worthy of competing against the High Priestess. No, oh, no, Dashkin pats Bundle on his on his shoulder. Er, this one's pulled up. This one's pulled off some pretty sly deals in our in our past. Barbara inspiration. And he's not even, and he's not <laughs> even he's supposed to be doing it. Yeah, Rania and I'm just like, like <laughs> Dash is I'm trying like... to reference the time Bundle made the deal with the fucking sheriff and basically got the better end of the deal. Yep. Uh, you really I don't do know how to actually story. explain that in character, but that's what Dash is trying to explain. And and uh, at this point, Bundle's just getting impatient because he's being wor worked around by this guard. To at least that's not how he feels. He says, "Okay, look, we obviously know how how to handle ourselves. We've made it through these tests to get to this point." It, and the only reason that you don't want us to see someone is because someone told you to just keep this door closed. That's it. <laughs> oh, pawn. Um, <laughs> he blinks. Oh. Thinks for a second. He's like, hmm. Hmm. I mean, if, he, if we have to, we'll go to the front door, but I will not be happy about it. We'll speak to your manager. <laughs> I really want to. I really want to do something stupid, but I don't know if I should do it. I he holds out a hand, like one finger, like, okay, one moment, and he disappears into the wall for uh, a couple of minutes, and you hear some pots and pans rustling for a second, but then it just. Throws away, you see like clap, 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 as it slowly drifts farther away. Um, run and move over to the stream and try and find out the thing. All right, rolling. Okay, a, a quipper jumps out, but it misses you. It's like, ah, not a word. Like, it rises like a foot out of the water. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking quippers. It took away the webbings of my fingers. <laughs> Which I'm sure those have grown back by now, right? Yeah, one yeah, of them didn't. Run your peas on the quipper. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Very totters back to. Uh, you're to you're really, you're really testing fate here, Run ya. It ain't fun if I ain't. Ah. Val kind of goes up next to next to Manal and Dash. You know, I really need to. Uh, you know, I really need to. I uh, need to work on communicating more. Oh, hard, but I. am a negotiator, but I stay silent. You tend to stay silent a lot. That just sounds I like do. you need to learn more languages. <sighs> that would help. If you want me to, if you want to, I can teach you how to speak English. It'll take a while. Yeah, it would, yeah. It would take roughly the same time as a normal teaching session. Yeah. Okay. From That's this long from this point from this point forward, we can designate you the voice of our party. 
Maybe you do. Bundle's better at okay then. <laughs> I mean I I'm, I'm more or less the I guess the the, the uh, am I the leader? I guess I guess I am. Uh, the more or less I'd say yeah. You got my vote, you keep at least for the time <laughs> being you're the one who's Bundle, if the you most. weren't the leader, I would be, and I don't think that'll end well for anyone. Nobody would make you the leader. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Oh, oh that cutting words damage. <laughs> she didn't even need to roll for that. I don't think there's a potion. I don't think there's a potion of lab that can heal that back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, while well, Rania is zipping up and, cry and silently <laughs> crying, another head pokes out of the porthole. This one is has a light pink pixie cut aboard its head and stares down with light green skin with the, this hand on the chin like, hmm. Is it a male Who are you? No, it's Hello there. Uh, I'll just go ahead and make this quick. I'm bundle of arrows. This is Dash again. This is uh, Feliana uh, I'm, Hello. Uh, Feliana Tadril. This is Rania. This is Talek Snowfur. And we are the adventurers who made it through the underpass to have an audience with whoever lives here so I can see what's going on with this Contessa. He says very rapidly and very impatiently. Priestess's name was pronounced Isley, right? Isley. Yeah. Isley. Hmm. And who might you be, uh, uh, ma madam? She just gives a facetious, oh, me. And yes, you. <laughs> and gives her name as Cellier. Cellier. Give me one second. Uh, and it sounds like celery. <laughs> Run that down. Cellier, I'm chief of security. Cool. All right. If it helps out, um, how do we make this work? Because I know we are obviously armed, but is there any way that we can make it to where we can step through, possibly offer what we have on us so that it's to not come off as a threat? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, uh, sorry about uh, Zekar. He's uh, a s sort of the intensely logical type. He's, uh, you know, you just want us to weave through every single thing. Uh, yeah, we'll just do a basic weapons check on you. Check your weapons. And, uh... I have, I have a random off-topic question, by the way. Uh, go for it. Why is the gate made of carrots? <laughs> that is a good question. Why is the gate made of crystal carrots? That seems carrots? like a very poor defensive material. Alex's ears perked as he looked at the gate with googly eyes. Well, uh, you don't see him anymore because uh, the glass wall slammed shut before you guys could reach it. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Damn. Although, yeah, now the, the, to be fair, the glass wall makes sense to make up for the carrot, so that was probably a dumb question. Yeah, Z Zakar is a bit uh, overly perfunctory, but uh, yeah, oh, we'll uh, we'll just have to check your weapons once you get in here, and then uh, yeah, we can uh, see about your accommodations. Thank you, man. Hey. I, hey. I appreciate the uh, the courtesy. Yeah. Now uh, step step back one minute. The 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 gate can swing a little bit. Dash again well, steps so. back. She steps back, uh, Fell steps back too. She's not testing that theory. <laughs> and to be safe, he's also going to step to the side in case it swings outward. Rania climbs yeah. on top of Baggy and just kind of backs up with him. Yeah, so as, beep, you, as you guys stare ahead, uh, the glass wall dissolves. And, uh, and the uh, interesting looking gate actually opens outward towards you guys. And just and it actually glides open, just like the slight suck of wind as it exits a little bit, and you it opens to just a bit uh, a standard just white a white like plasticky looking hallway. Oops. On a scale of one to ten, how's the interior decor uh, decor looking? <laughs> Two thousand one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> So, As in, there's nothing in there. 
<laughs> no, I'm saying nice is like nice. Nice. Looks rather fun to look around, tr trying to think of the best way to describe it. Why? Minimalistic. Uh, a, a good old fashioned minimalistic look. Mm, I guess that's one way to put it. He says, as he sees, there's not really much around. Yeah. Shall we go ahead and head in? Of course. And as Bundle takes off his bow, unclips his his dagger from his belt, and offers it to be inspected. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's there's no one in there. It's just a uh, a plain long uh black table off to the side. Oh. Well, that, that simply says in Elvis, check please. Oh. Uh, and actually, there are one... slots for every different weapon type in the shape of mm -hmm. like there's like a, a hole and the, there's like a little padded center with the shape of a dagger or a scimitar or a crossbow or Reaper? like 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 in like in briefcases when they're storing diamonds they have those like little padded like foam like places where you stick them in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of like it, mm -hmm. but it's like foam outlines of weapons. No, mm -hmm. will take out his greatsword and put it in the slot. Oh yeah, you just stick it in there and it just sinks in and uh, it just, you sink it in and then you, you see, the, oh, it's not, because right, you try and pull it, but like, no, it's stuck firm. Huh. So I'll, uh, takes out her. I'm for like an attendant or something real quick. Call, here takes out. You just hear from above you, don't worry, we're, we're keeping an eye on you. Just, you know, do as you will. Ronya looks over at Or rather, do as you and, should. Uh, we're going to get a receipt for these, right? What's a what's a receipt? A proof of either purchase or. Uh, Are we seriously uh, putting receipts? In? <laughs> I'm sure we'll get our weapon. We I'm will sure talk. We'll... We we can have our quartermaster make a receipt for you. Good. All right. All right. I'll put, put sir. Oh, sorry. I put all my stuff in there, and because of the way my character is, he's going to be a little bit more forthcoming and say, um. I know I have all my weapons here, but just to, I guess, make you guys feel safer, do you have, like, mittens or something I can have put on my hands? Please don't tell me I have to be muzzled. Aww. How do they do it? I really... Uh, I really hope that's nothing. Please don't tell me I have to be muzzled. <laughs> I yeah, think might just up saying this considering he breathes fucking acid. Considering Fell's uh, Fell's entire uh, entire spell uh, spell thing is out of her voice. <laughs> oh no! Um, so as you guys, so okay, Bundle puts all his weapons in. Dash puts his so weapons fell. in. Fell. Weapon singular. <laughs> yeah, weapon. Same here. Tell. All I have left is my greatsword. Dad so places his mace and uh, ace down. All right. Yep. Uh, they've actually got it like. Equitized to where there's like lower sections of the table for you guys. Mm. Actually, once those three are done, it sinks down to ground to your level. Mm. Do they ask for my shield as well? Yes, they do. There is a, there is a shield portion. Why? No, oh, fine. Ryan puts down his wooden shield, his scimitar. He hesitates for a moment, takes out his lightning wand. We are getting a receipt, right? You've yes, yes. We're getting Good. One. Okay, he uh, puts down his lightning wand, his dagger. Do they want my scissors? They probably won't want my scissors. Mm, no. As long as you don't intend to use them as a weapon, we can let you keep your pretty little crafting scissors. Cool. Uh, ta -ta -ta. What else we got? Um, Actually... I uh, hate being honest. What about these? Dash shows the braces in the fence. Oh no, you can keep those. We just don't need oh. anything that can actually be used as weapons. Ronnie okay. takes out his jorts. These are legendary uh, weapons. Do you need these? Oh my. Don't be silly now. Okay, okay fine. So uh, Ronnie need... puts back his jorts. Uh, he, uh, uh, but he uh, does uh, take out his bad berries and sweet berries. Do you count these? Ew, what did you do? What did you what did you do, you with reckless nature? <laughs> they they will have uh, they have a lot more utility than you think they do. 
Uh huh. One of them puts you to sleep. The other one, I assume, is poison. Why do you take out the glitter tap? I don't know what this is. Hmm. Nice. You get a free spell. Anyway. A uh... free what now? Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Let me look over at we'll the figure that out later, Anya. Good. So it doesn't count as a uh, weapon, then? No. Okay. He carefully puts it back into his pack. Like, oh, you put it back. Okay. Um, uh, into his pack. Or, like, he, until he finds out what it is. Uh, but he looks down at his bag of tricks, like, and then he looks down at Baggy. Um, do you count magical items as well? He's harmless. He puts Baggy. Mmm, we... As soon as you say that, a little bag-shaped hole appears in the table. Oh. All right. Mm. Ronya pets, Ronya pets Baggy, and he uh, uh commands he, he, sh him he shrinks to... away. Bye, bye. Talk about it in the best. I have but, a hat. <laughs> but I strongly suggest that uh, he. Cast identify on it when we get the chance. Uh, but, I, yeah. that, that's yeah. actually kind of a good point. You're able to regenerate spell slots, and she isn't. Wait, what the fuck are these green teeth berries? Oh, they're the berries that make your teeth clean. No, oh, no, yeah, green. no those are, the, I think oh. I think those were like the dental berries. Yeah. No, no, the, those uh, the dental berries that make your teeth all shiny were the better berries. Uh, these are green teeth berries, which I don't remember what Britain made them as. They made your teeth green. Did they? Is that the only thing they did? Yeah. That could be a fun little, uh, little prank thing that I could sell to people. Oh. Like, make your friend's teeth green. So, anyway, uh, so Talik's weapons are all in, Ronnie's weapons are all in. Uh, that mm -hmm. makes everyone. As the... Uh, okay, uh, Rania puts, uh, the gray ball into the gray sack, and he puts in, uh, uh his gray pouch, like, see you soon, promise. Yep, it just sinks in, and the table just sinks into the floor. Just... Yeah. Uh, you sound like you're a little far away from your I know, I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep an eye on that cat. Uh... <laughs> he, he's still <laughs> hanging out with you? I thought that cat was supposed to leave at some point. It was. <laughs> It seems to be a permanent addition to your house now. Meow, 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 We're working meow, meow. on it. Um, <laughs> but, meow, meow, yeah, meow, and meow, as meow. soon as you guys stop paying attention to the table, you turn around and there's Celier. Hello. Ah. Looks to oh. Dashkin. Breath mint. As long as it means I don't need to wear a muzzle. Smiles. Yeah, if she's legitimately handing over a magic breath mint to disable his... Dragon breath, he'll take it. Oh yeah, yeah, he'll take it, and pop it in. Um, yeah. Um, you basically feel like a cooling sen cooling mint sensation runs all the way down to your core, and it's like, ooh, that's pretty nice. Uh, you got a nail file while you're at it. He says as he looks through his claws. <laughs> you should just give me gloves. You know, when it comes to ways to hurt people, it does kind of suck to be us, doesn't it, Bundle? I can't be your pain on That looks at that skin. Hey, my feet are not for looks, you know. There we go. I've never seen you actually kick anyone. Dash, Dash said when it comes to Bundle, when it comes to, uh, like, naturally being able to fuck people up, it kind of sucks to be us when, when we need to turn over weapons and such. Yeah, it did kind of does. But, but it does whoops. mean that you have something, like, in your pocket. This is true. This is true. But I can always grow these back, he says as he flicks them in and out of his... the retractable claws. I don't care, sir. No, no bad. Don't even... <laughs> Anywho. <laughs> that cat is now attempting to devour my book bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have turned over my torches too, or did like that cat. Oh no, you you can't light the torches inside the inside the place. Okay, that's fine. I'm just asking. Anyway, on to the issue of bundles claws now.
Run your raises in his hands. One is second. there smoking here, by the way? Or is there smoke three of them? Meow, 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 meow. You little shit. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> oh, he's still dealing <laughs> with the cat. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> you little shit. I'm giddy. <laughs> She is in no danger, she's just... I just realized I left my cords lying all over the place and it was a bad choice. Meow 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 Don't remind me, young one. <laughs> young mortal one. I am mortal. Okay. So basically she... As she hands you a... Hands dash of breath, she also pulls out some nice... Uh, Pleasant little Stanley Cup holding gloves. Like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking like foam fingers? What? Like, you know the gloves they give people to, to like hold on to like cherished treasures and like the Stanley Cup? Yeah. Yeah. They get, she gives you a pair of those with big stubby foam fingers on the end. Yeah. <laughs> You know, no. what, what that somehow it? looks worse than a muzzle. <laughs> you think they're not they're not obnoxious, but it's like, oh, the, the, those those fingertips are padded, huh? Can we keep these? Why? Yeah. Reason. Bundle just take puts them on, staring at Ranya like. What? If we have the gold, we'll see if we can buy you a souvenir, Ranya. Oh, Dash says as he face bombs. I want to see the. I want to go see the Feyland gift shop. So <laughs> now that now that we're in on you know face to face speaking terms and not looking through a uh, a gate, it I don't want to sound crass, but um, I can tell that you are a. Elvish descent, but what are you? He's saying this to uh, Celia. 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 Yeah. Celia. She she blinks. Goes like a slight smirk. Like oh, yeah, it's probably having too much uh, advantage. Oh yeah, you, that's right. You don't live to uh, a millennia now, do you? Um. Okay. Yeah. Me and uh, I've did. I'm a foreigner, so this is all new to me. Uh, she glances around at you like you probably aren't way of the. Uh, well, some of you should know of the high fay. What do we roll? Goes what do we roll? Ranya probably history. Would. Ranya has advantage, and yeah, everyone else straight history. Okay, I was about to say, right. does Dash have disability? Oh! 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 I don't think I can beat you guys! I try anyway. Well, they definitely know. <laughs> I got a 13, but my god! Okay, so Dash, you're like, Hi, Faye. What? They already greeted us. Why are they greeting us again? Uh, <laughs> why are we saying hi to her? Uh, Rania, you're like, Oh, yeah, those people. They do. Things. Yeah, <laughs> those people. Italic, you're like, okay, uh, those sound important. Uh, Fell, uh, yeah, Poobit, Poofell, and uh, Bundle. You, uh. <laughs> <Play the pool. laughs> uh, you guys sure do re recognize that. Those are basically, yeah, the, uh, the Galadriels of this of this realm. They are like the oh. the ruling elf class, basically. The Oberons and the Titanias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, at, at realizing this, Bundle's like, should should I should I bow or? <laughs> uh, oh um, please, no, no, no! I'm just this, I'm this, 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 the security chieftain. Do I am I not royalty. No. Do I have okay, enough knowledge to know whether or not this place is of the winter uh, or summer court? Or wild thing? Uh, with that history check, you really can't tell at the moment. You, that, you're kind of thrown off by the... You've never been inside an actual fake keep. You've been in transmorgified things that Owl has sent you on, but you've never actually been in a true high fake keep. 
What does mine and Fel's say? What, what to even do here? Um, basically, don't insult them and uh, try to get to the point as quick as possible. All right. Since they are basically okay. royal beings who have other things to do with their days than just interact with you. But they also live for forever. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but that so, doesn't mean there's still not things to do. So Bundles is going to get to the point and state exactly what he did while he was at the gate and say, that's why we're here. We don't want to cause any any ruffles. And we definitely don't want to make enemies. So if we can just do what we have to do to get Contessa out of whatever bull crap she's put herself into, we'll be out of your hair. Yeah, so we just, we just want to to do business and go home. Whatever home is. Why is currently munching on some of his good berries? Alright. I can see if I can arrange something for you. Um, I don't think I can even today, probably, you know? Today, today's, today's, let me see, today is is Court Resonance Day. Tomorrow, maybe after lunch. And yeah, so I can get you set up with our with our hospitality, uh, guest services, and then uh, perhaps uh, just get you settled. And then tomorrow I can see if Isley can spare you the time. You said you were here for Contessa. Wh which one? Wait, which one? Which one? Which one? <laughs> uh, uh, how many royals screw you guys over? Um, or, like, insult them would be a proper way of saying that. I don't think I was here for the Countessa. Shit. I... What was her uh, name? Uh, God damn it, I can't find it. Uh oh. Neither, neither can I. Oh, uh, crap. <laughs> it's because you weren't Shit. here. Shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't find it. I, I can't find it. I would not have known. Thanks. Christine. Christine! We're looking for Christine. Let me think for a moment. Maybe. She also thinks for a moment. Christine. Oh! 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 How bad is she? What? She what did pats you? the bun on the head. Yes. Yes. Mm. I'm resisting the urge to purr. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dash is just she trying to ask. She has very that nice, like her hands look nice and like stilted, kind of bony, like. But now they're like, oh damn, that, that not bad actually. Well, you can't on. tell but just the ethereal warmth and cold emanating from her. That there's just this like perfect balance of atmosphere around her hand as it ruffles you. But it's like, yeah, you're you're gonna have a time. Runny is watching her. I wasn't around for. The giant pink bubble. Neither was <laughs> how I. bad? How bad is this Contessa? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, she wasn't a bad ruler. She was just, well, th rich. Sh sh yeah. Mm, I'll let the high priestess explain and her court. Um, <laughs> basically, mm -hmm. yes, yes. This gives you another light path and like. Just puts her hands in the pyramid pose. Like, yes, we're going to set you up with uh, Dirk. He is our our guest services. He will find you a nice, comfy quarter. And yes, then we will uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, just try not to um, cause too much mischief. I know how uh, some of the outsiders to the Fey Realm just don't know how things work. But uh, basically, uh, don't steal. Uh, don't try and, uh, be too impressive, and, uh, Wait, don't, too uh, impressive. and don't piss in undesign undesignated places. <laughs> Basically, don't be boastful. Don't, don't try to be boastful. Oh, okay. Don't be boastful. You will lose. Run your raises his hand. I'll so, just keep to myself then. Just to be safe. So, uh, we have, uh, 
Uh, we have your invitation as guests to be here, then? Well, yes, provided you don't, uh... Uh, well, I would like unimpress to... someone. I would, uh, like uh, to have your formal invitation. I know a few things about the Fae, but the formalities uh, seem to matter to uh, their people. Who do you think we're in? The White Ages? Good God. <laughs> Rania smiles. The one who taught me tended to be a little old-fashioned. She's gonna insight you. And while we're on the question train, who, if we're allowed to wander the premise... Okay, she she can't read you. Um, oh, but she's like, God, I oh, have a mask on. Okay. Well, still, she's a fae, so she has incredible insight, but still, she botched that thing. Uh... <laughs> that or she just doesn't care. Oh, no, she does care. She's like, okay. Hmm. And she looks to Dash, hmm? What are your rules on asking for information about the outside world, if you have it? Hmm... As long as you accommodate your conversation partner when they give you perhaps basic signals that they don't want to continue the conversation and you immediately stop, you should be fine. Like I said, right. don't unimpress anyone here. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, hopefully, That's completely fine. Hopefully the thing I'm trying to gather info on doesn't offend anyone. Oh, it shouldn't, it shouldn't. Unless you're like... Uh, Trying to be like uh, one of those eugenicists or something like that. That's uh, that's just silly. Long uh, to this? give a rough summary. I'm trying to hunt down a Tia Mac Cole because they kidnapped my sister. Oh yeah. Oh. That's why I'm wanting to make sure. Um. Okay. Okay. Stay out of the North Quarter. Whatever you do. Don't don't mention them there. What? That's right. in the north corner. <laughs> I imagine uh, it's probably going to be bad enough given my skin color. Mm, yeah, just yeah, just 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 stay out of the north quarter of the keep and uh, try not to. Uh, yeah, actually, you are a dragon boy. Yeah, just stay out of the north quarter in general. Um, Noted. <laughs> unless you are asked there, in which case you better accept. Rania raises his hand again. You have a lot of questions. Mm, I like to be thorough if I can. If you do not wish to ask them, I will remain silent. Okay, but do I notice I am the security chieftain for the entire keep. And mm. this is only... We are only the entrance and we have about uh, uh, three more, three eighths of a mile to go before we even reach the begin. We have about three quarters of a mile before we even reach guest services. We start. They start walking. This would be quick. Um, uh, we were in a temporal, uh, temporal field before that uh, seemed to affect time. Will time be the same uh, as we left coming in once we leave here, or will things be different once we exit? We don't know. We don't leave the keep. We don't know how time affects people on the outside. Uh, we honestly can't say. Only a nod. Is there any way we can find out other than leaving? Um. No, not really. Uh, the, there was Rodok, but uh, he's sort of. Uh, even by our standards, he's kind of crazy. Uh, he, he, but he lives up in the in the in the second tallest tower, just running astrology experiments and uh, talking to the, the talking to uh, Saturn and uh, Jupa. So uh, it's uh, he just eyes the stars a lot, and uh, we, we we he may have gone blind, but we're not entirely sure. Um, it may be worth our time to um, ask him how much time has passed since we've entered. Are we allowed to? See I don't know. Uh, I I didn't know you beforehand. This is my first time seeing you. Although the, although she looks at you again, like, yeah, yeah, you might want to 
just take a bath or something. You've got some, uh, you seem to have some stomach trouble going on there. Yeah, uh, uh we've been through it. That is gonna, that was gonna be my next question to Grundle as he's walking beside, beside her. Is there a bathhouse? Is there a place to get Oh, no, no, no. And... Dirk will take very good care of you. Trust me. Oh, Dirk? oh, thank God. Thank all the gods. Thank the cat lords. Thank everybody. Thank he's a <laughs> I'm a used to being dirty, but the <laughs> Undersider Pass was a whole thing, different level entirely. You, you, you know it's bad like when that. even I want to get clean. You still smell like that undead thing that barfed all over you. Yes, uh, I do. And run your glasses. smell like it is suffering. Run your, run your glances to bundle. Be careful with exactly who you think in the Feylons. Hey, I know how to how to act uh, around people of uh, <laughs> of importance. <laughs> I am plenty Wait. bourgeoisie. <laughs> My information may be a little bit, um, a little bit outdated, but... Uh, Bundle in French Revolutionary Bourgeoisie Clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Puffed collar, handkerchief, breeches. Mm. One day more. <laughs> I imagine Bundle like in the Assassin's Creed uniform now. That's... Uh, uh, I like it. One, <laughs> one last question for me. Mm -hmm. Is there, other than the North Quarter for, for Dashkin, is there any place we're absolutely not allowed to go? It's not that you're not allowed, but we're no. just staying out of the basement. Noted. That makes sense. Run him, um... Uh, just this, this horrid, horrid grubs down there. You know what time of day it is right now? Oh yeah, it's about uh, 9 p.m. at night. Why? Whoa! Uh, Whoa! Uh, it was wasn't it dawn like an hour ago. Um. The uh, uh, We had to travel quite a bit uh, during our travel days to get here, I believe. Didn't we? Yeah. How long has it been for us? You since, don't know. Since. Oh, you, you were caught in a blizzard. Mm. Your, your sense of time hand. was kind of numbed by that experience. Ronya lifts up his hands and uh, uses craft to see uh, the what weather it is outside. Oh, it's oh the weather out like it is in directly above you, directly behind you, directly to the left. That's a good question. How about directly above? Perfectly calm and clear. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Ronnie closes his hand. Oh, lead on, lead on, uh, Celia. I am quite Celia. 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 I am. Pro I apologize ahead. I'm probably going to pronoun mispronounce that every time. Celia. So she. Celia. Phil. Yay. Celia. 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 I think I got it. Or maybe it's Celia. Salier. Yeah, common, Salier. Is, common is weird. It's not my first language. It so. is, isn't it? I is is not it is. Tribe. How does the colloquial go? Is is not it is. Oh, he hell's with it. Okay. Um. So yeah, you guys keep walking, and she occasionally points out, like, okay, um, if you see this symbol, you will recognize this is a dispensary. Uh disposal dispensary where you can uh, do your business uh, most uh, most orificial fluids can be disposed of here um, and then they continue down uh, uh, what does Radia do to it? I spit into it yeah you spit into it it just glows yellow and then you hear a slight hum neat hmm. um, so uh, you continue down the hallway, and occasionally it's it you you get the sense you're going upwards, but you just can't tell because it's so white and plain that it that you don't really get the sense of much of anything changing. It seems like a constant hallway, but eventually she holds up a hand like, okay, um, tick tick tick, ah, there we go, and she reaches up into the ceiling, 
pulls it down, and immediately a ramp appears. And it's, as opposed to the solid white hallway, this is solid ebony black. And it says, oh, hey. Huh. I wonder if I'll turn invisible. Maybe. Not again. Dashian's oh. trying to make a joke on how well he may blend into this. Rania looks at Bundle and Dash. You two could play hide and seek. And it's kind of like one of those old attics where, like, you pull down the stairs into the attic, and it comes with a little wooden sign at the end of one of the stairs, like, Welcome to guest services. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fel would stick out, like, a sore thumb in here. Out of curiosity, how, how well do Dash and Bundle blend in? Uh, you, you're, it's, it's, it's a lighter charcoal. Mm. Well, Dashigan is charcoal colored. Okay, yeah, you you, you see his eyes. Hi. <laughs> and the white hair. <laughs> and mine's more of a bluish black, so I still kind of stick out a little bit, but not very much. Yeah. And Fell's just there. <laughs> so yes, just continue up this up this ladder stairway. Um, I have to go and take care of a slight cafeteria issue, and uh, apparently uh, the dinosaur oh. soup is not going as planned. So D dinosaur? I will. Huh. That's a bit of deja vu. So we anyway, enjoy your stay. I either I or my or my lieutenant will be here to pick you up tomorrow and transport you to the post lunch uh, visit. In the meantime, uh, Dirk can probably give you a slight uh, road, better roadmap than I will. In the meantime, have a good stay. I have to go. Farewell. And immediately, uh, you guys. She points into the staircase. You guys look up into it. You look back. She's gone. Oh, 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 well, okay. let's has, go up. Up we go. I sneak than I do. He just, <laughs> just bundle as he tries to look for she is. <laughs> as, soon as, we, as soon as we go up there, Dash is just half invisible. <clears throat> Ronya sits down and uh, he uh, thinks for a moment. I never sit did down get that all formal all So everyone else goes in except for Rania. <laughs> no, I, no, no, I'm in there. I said goes in there and sits down. Well, it's it's a ladder stairwell, so it's like... Yeah, it goes up. Okay, what do we see when we go up it? Okay, as you come in, you enter this room that is pure citrus orange. Ah! Oh. oh, that's actually... Well, leave Death this attack on the cuts sentence. himself off, realizing what he was Wait. about to say might be insulting. Wait, it might be like the college. There are even like little slices of citrus armchairs and like beanie chairs in the corner. Like, oh, huh. God. Is there anyone around in there? That they have very. If you don't have anything nice to say, guys, just don't say anything at all. Talik, no. Talik, Talik. That is the opposite of what I just said. <laughs> Look, I'm okay. Up there, and as you guys, as the first person ducks and enters, there's like a slight ringing bell above you. Ding, 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 ding. And it's like, another patron has entered the vicinity. You hear, oh, crap, 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 crap. What was that voice? And Where is that voice? I think they are a lot different than I imagined. And from around the corner comes this pure, like, Chinese devil masked, like, pure red faced, piercings all over what elf. Hell? With, like, oh, uh, hello! Guests! Hello there. Excellent! Are you. I take it you're Dirk. I mean, you are. Yes! Dirk Raidrim! Guest services how, for the how Veiled do you spell Keep. That? Uh, one second. Doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. I look. This boy is amazing. <laughs> well, aren't you quite the character? Says Bundle as he looks him over. Never oh, thank you that. so much. Anyway. Anyway, um, welcome to guest services. I am your pleasant concierge and overall master, Dirk. Uh, uh, just come on over, sign the guest book, and I can get you signed away to your rooms. And we are going to end the session right there. Oh my Ooh. god, that was awesome. Pleasure to meet you, Dirk. <laughs> uh, so Thank glad. you. I can't w hold on, wait. <laughs> 
Talek has really ever said anything, so let Talek, what's your, what's up before we end? Yeah, go, Talek. Uh, uh, this is our character. Talek is just one of those time, I mean, characters that gotta tell the truth what he thinks. And this is just too much horn. <laughs> you, can, you can see his face like... <laughs> Help! I just realized, Brett, is this an inn and or tavern? No, do not do that. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 Guys, it's clearly a B&B, an Airbnb. Okay, we, we, just got, we just got listed, we just got listed an Airbnb. Uh, there's, they, they really like our citrus blend. Here's a question, though. Does does that magic mint stuff just the natural acid, like, drool? Yeah, yeah, it's... Oh. Okay, Listen. I've been keeping count. So far, da and Dash has destroyed, uh, sorry, uh, destroyed three different taverns and uh, and hostels, and I've destroyed one. <laughs> Inns, please. Oh yeah, wait. The three, Inns. the three half moons was a hostel. Yeah, because I broke, yep. I broke the Lothlander's boat, which I considered part of the hostel. <laughs> That's right, you did. And I, mm -hmm. and I blew up the people. Hello, D. I can't wait to see what you have in mind for Dash to fuck this place up, Brett. Or me. Because I want it to be yeah, yeah. Every inn we go to, Dash has to fuck it up. Either Dash or me. Well, you don't, you don't have to. It's funny, though, and I want it to happen. <laughs> God. <laughs> if you break anything, bundles will be pissed. Because we don't have the money to pay it for it. It will be entirely on action. <laughs> That's right, you guys don't have the money to pay for it. <laughs> no, no, hold up. Hold on. I mean, you do have those pearls, so I don't know. No, hold up. I don't know what I just, I just, gonna pay, though. I'm just imagining, like, all oh, right, I've ran out of owl fe uh, feathers and pearls. Looks what do you like think that gonna... hallway is made of? Uh, it looks like I'm gonna... <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you think Wait, that hallway no, no. is made out of? Pearls? Owl feathers? Oh, Pearls. Pearls. Oh, yeah. we can't steal anything. Mm. Shit. No, you <laughs> I'm going to steal the off. hallway! <laughs> <laughs> it's worth, it's <laughs> worth <laughs> billions! Maybe with a high enough sleight of hand? <laughs> like, like, just go down to the hallway? Even with the nat 20, like, yeah, no, you need like a nat 30 to steal that hallway, man. Like, 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 Alright, with that history check, I'm just gonna say that Bundle's like, no, I'm not stealing anything. My hands are, are clean <laughs> here. No, no, I just imagine, like, fe like, fell, uh, like, fell, uh, she, she's like, oh, I've run out of pearls and owl feathers. Looks like it's time to, uh, to identify. Uh, I'm just glad Talek hasn't tried to steal anything yet. Why would he try to steal anything? He's a paladin. Criminal past. Because he uh, he's yeah. also has a criminal past, and he also likes to use that, uh, that his, pickaxe a lot on his, things. His paws are like Doctor Strange. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so For those of you who are old enough like to get that reference. <laughs> kind of wish we went a little bit farther, but I'll... Uh, uh, I'm actually kind of happy we're ending now because I have a cough going on. Yeah. Cough all you need to. I was hoping that we could have gotten to our long rest uh, before that, but oh well. <laughs>